mention about Jackie's pooping. Oh. <laughs> 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 Jackie, you have the toilet yet? I got poopy right now. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Oh, my God. <laughs> Don't mind Jackie. Let me see what's going on. It's my poop. Hey, about Hi, everybody. Poop. We're late because we had to wait on Jackie to get out the toilet. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Ridiculous. Wait, what do you mean? Who the hell's on the thumbnail with T and Sarah? Yeah, she's it's a comic relief on the other side. Me and Jackie, that was on the toilet. <laughs> I'm, yeah, she's yeah, Jackie with you, T. What, Susanna? What? Hi, everybody. Kim is supposed to introduce. That's your job because you're better looking. What? Yeah. Hi, everybody. So uh, we're doing a pop up, and um, yep, we're doing the pop up, and with not with um, guests, with family, Jackie and Sarah. Jackie was busy, that's why we're a little late. She's <laughs> <laughs> just busy in the bathroom. So, um, so yeah, we this is gonna probably be an everything auction, not just jewelry. It's gonna be an everything auction. We just got a lot of stuff to show, and we're just gonna go with the night like that. Who's gonna? Yeah. So Kim, are you gonna say hi to everybody? Hi everybody. That's what you told me, dude. <laughs> All right. Hey Diamond, the enforcer is here. Diamond, oh, if wait, you feel uh, up to it, maybe you can mod. Mod. <laughs> and hey, Brad and Rhonda and Darlene. You missed and the Darlene has arrived. You didn't say hi to the hustlers. They're right there. Yeah, I was the first one in the chat. Sorry. Oh, hi, Sarah, Jackie. <laughs> hi. Hello, hi, Darlene. Not pooping. <laughs> <laughs> pooping anymore. She's not pooping anymore. We can no, start. <laughs> And uh, <laughs> and we have Susanna, and let's see, let's see, Thomas, just me. You got a wrench, just me, and uh, tyrannical. Hi, tyrannical. Hi, tyrannical. And we have Nance and Little K and Casual. I have a bid jit. No need to wipe. A bidet. <laughs> a bidet. Oh. <laughs> Is that the way you spell it? Yeah. How did you try to say it? Don't tell me you know what the fuck that was. I of a day? Yeah, I know what it is. I took the architecture. Are you sure that's the way it's spelled? Probably not. Of Maybe a day? Like, I think so. I don't, it's I don't think that's the way no it's spelled. That's no, why there's no G. There's no G. Well, I redid it. <laughs> I respelled it. B I D E T. How are you spell the shit? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Sun and Moon. Well, that's not how you spell it. See, I knew. That's why I said bidget. <laughs> Do I don't know how to spell? I mean, we, think we're, like, we think we're classy. classy. Okay. We have a bidet. In Texas, we, we call a water bidet. hose a bidet. Okay. <laughs> hey, rise up. We got it's it during okay. COVID because they it's had a COVID. they had a toilet paper shortage it's before COVID. Oh, we, we predicted it. Yeah. So we got a bidet. <laughs> I've never used a bidet. Does it really work? Hell yeah! It just shoots hard water up your. No, you get to choose how hard you want it. Yeah, it really works. It depends on how long you sit there. <laughs> you can do all kinds of things with that. See, Nikki said that's how she read it too, Bidget. <laughs> <laughs> um, hi, Jade Moon. I told so, you it's B I D E T. So we're just gonna do an everything auction, um, and see how it goes from there. So, how many are in the chat? If you want Hi, to start. Susanna. Hey, you go, one of you go first because the stupid gardener is like right outside of our thing, so I have to mute. So, we'll go like one of you go. after you. One, we'll go after the first music. music. No, that's just someone else go and then we'll oh go after. Oh, my God. <laughs> Cam, are you paying attention? No. Yeah. No, I see he's not. So, do you want me to go first? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Just to put to the side. Yeah. You got it? Are we doing two or one? Two. Two? Yeah, it gives me time to run around and get shit. Okay. <clears throat> I was just telling the girls back in the back, I have 16, well, 14 shirts, one jacket, and one sweatshirt, and three hats. I'm going to do the whole lot because I really want to get rid of this thing, of all this. Um, so I'll, I'll go show you the shirts one by one, but here is the stack of T-shirts. Is she back or someone? The three hats. It's gonna be all one lot for all of it. Wait, three hats? Yeah. You didn't show me those first. This one is the Don't first hat. It. it says Rockstar. You suck. Denim and Supply Rockstar. There's the yeah. first hat. For real. The second one is uh California Love. I think this is Hollister, isn't it? No, it's Billabong. 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 Yes, yeah, so it's a dragonfly just... on her shirt. Huh? Yes, uh, this is uh, yes. It's a dragonfly brooch. It's a dragonfly brooch. And then this is a hat. I should send to Kim. Look at this hat. What am I supposed to do with that? I don't know. Isn't that cool? Look at that hat. So there's there. that hat. That's the three hats. This is the all for the same. Like I said, the, the entire lot together. What's the starting bid? Oh, oh, um, let's do 25 for all of it. Remember, I said 14 shirts, one sweatshirt, one jacket, and three hats for the whole lot. We'll do 25 for the whole thing. This, uh, this jacket is Hollister, has Hollister on the side. It Which is, a, uh, huh? Sorry, go ahead. It's a size small. It looks like a big small. Small Hollister. There's that one. Shit, where am I going to put this? Okay, and now I'm going to show you the t-shirts. This is a medium. Lady at Antebellum. This is one of the ones you gave me, Kim, right? That didn't fit. Yeah, that's Lady Antebellum. Yeah. There's Lady yep. Ant Antebellum. Hang on, are you doing um, bidding or 25 by it now? No, 20, start at 25. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so this is a bidding. Okay. Yeah. So there's Lady Antebellum. <clears throat> this That's one is group. Jason Aldean. That's a country singer. Yeah, never heard of him. I didn't figure you did. Hi, Jenny. <laughs> Jason Aldean. Hey, Jenny. This is Rascal Flats. That's country group. I'm trying to help you out here. Rascal Flats. This one is Casey Musgraves. She's country. Casey Musgraves. It's all country. Musgrave. Yeah. Country. Oh, and the, yeah, that's on the back. Yeah. This one is, it says prehistoric just because, just became prehistoric. <laughs> prehistoric just became prehistoric. Instead of his story, it's her story. Yeah. <laughs> Cute. With a dinosaur. Then you got this one is Lone Star Percussion, Dallas, Texas. Yeah, they're awesome. Yep. This one is. That's right, Rise Up. That's who was on the stage. Justice Lee. Started out. He's lucky he didn't get hit. This one is Tiger Army. I, I, don't know, shirt. I don't know what that who that is. I don't know. It's cool looking. Yeah, I don't know who that is. This one is David Cron. David, I don't know how to say that last name. Uh, David Crowder. David Crown? Crown? Maybe you see it. I can't tell what it is. I can't read it. I think it's David Crowder. Well, yeah. yeah. This one is the uh, Harry Potter. It says Harry Wise Potter. Ravenclaw. Yeah. And that's like the bird, the raven is like felt, the felt feel. Oh, cool. This one is the force. What the hell is this? Say? 
The force, the force is with us. Yeah, Joda. Yeah, the yeah. force is with us. This one's cool. This one glows in the dark. This one's a uh, like I think an extra small, but it glows in the dark. Oh wow! Yeah, that's cool. That is cool. That one glows in the dark. Um, this one says only once you live. Yoda. Oh, this one's a Harley Davidson one. Harley. There's a Harley Davidson one. Finest what? It's an Harley tag. Yep. Is that a medium? Yeah. Yeah. Harley one. You still feeling that crap, Annie? This one is, isn't this that cartoon? It's a Disney. Um, oh, I forgot what the name is of this cartoon. It says um, Disney on it. The Incredible. The Incredible. Is that it? Yeah. 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 That one says small, but it looks like a large. It's double big. Yeah, it is actually big. And then this one is that sweatshirt, like crop top sweatshirt. And it says you, uh, as long as you and me. It's with a hood. Aw. As long as you and me. That's it's right. like crop top and it has the hood. Hi, Aaron. Hi, Aaron. Hi, Annie. Hi, yeah, Annie. Annie's, Annie's sick. Annie. Oh, no. Annie's sick? Yeah, she hasn't been feeling good. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. oh, no. Dang, Jay Moon. Holy crap. Where are you at, J Moon? Yeah, where are you at? Because <laughs> I don't want to go there. <laughs> yeah, Jay, where are you at? Let's sell this. What are we doing? I don't know. Who's out? Who's at it? We well, are. This is our 25. <laughs> That's what we're saying to sell it. Sell the shit. <laughs> Do it. She's in Vermont. Oh, Vermont? Yeah. Wow. I think you're sold to the hustlers. Sold to the hustlers. Not yet. Somebody can snipe them. They could come. Yeah, they could. Yes, Annie took a COVID test, but she had her results back out. Oh my gosh. Uh, so, so, so to the hustlers. Ding, 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 ding. Should I write that? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I bit the crap out of my tongue. I just want you to know that. Thank you, guys. Uh, <clears throat> all right. I'm going to switch my camera because I'm going to do a little lot of, like, four things that don't make sense together. But I still want to do it to get rid of it. So she doesn't care. Any she doesn't care That's right. If that, cool. if that made any sense whatsoever. <laughs> Not really, but okay. Well, we'll start this lot at five dollars diamond. It's going to be a lot of one, two, three, four, four things that don't match. Um, that don't match. No, that don't make no. any sense. All right, I have this carriage. It's actually really, really heavy. That's oh. iron. Yeah, I think it is because I can go looking at it. It's iron. It's really like extremely heavy. That's old. The size of it. Do you have a date on it? Not that I saw any, no. I've never been tired of So, it has well, I'm to getting be you that, I'm getting it's, you that loop. It is really heavy. So, there's one thing. <clears throat> yeah, cast iron. That's it. Thank you. Um, this lighter, I don't know if it works, but you guys can, if that's on you. This lighter. It's butane. It says fang. Well, I don't know what that says. Uzi, Uzi piss, you know, lighter. Pew pew. It's pew, a poo -poo. Pew, lighter. It's a Uzi poo poo. Yeah. Pew yeah. pew lighter. Yeah, it, it is butane. And uh, like I said, I don't know if it works. That's on you. But yeah, there's that. Uh, she don't have no butane. No. No. She probably wouldn't know how to fill it up. This um, little um, um, coin purse says Canada the bear actually sticks right out of the the bag. Cool. 
Yeah. And you're right. None of this goes with either. That's right. yeah. None of this matches. That's what I'm saying. It's none okay. of it matches. Mm -mm. So there's that. Uh, and I don't know if you guys are into, I don't know if you guys know what finials are. What are? Do you guys know what finials are? Okay, they a lot of these actually go for good prices on Etsy. <laughs> What's the matter? I'm laughing, Susanna. <laughs> so this is a finial. Oh, that's that doohickey that goes on top of a. Yes, this one. Yeah. This is a vintage finial. And they um, sell like crazy. Yeah, they do sell like crazy. Yeah, you told me I looked stuff up. Yes. Yes, they do sell yeah. like crazy. This one is a real heavy one also. So there's the lot. I said it made no sense, but I wanted to get rid of it. No sense, but I wanted to get rid of it. Oh, and is anybody interested in ephemera? Because I got lots of crap ephemera that I want to get rid of too. So let me know if you are into ephemera also. I got a lot of that I want to get rid of. And books. I am doing a couple of lots of books tonight, too. And we have the queen in F5. No, I don't have uh, Susanna. That I don't have postcards. What I have is um, very old newspapers. I ha I'll have to show you what I have because it's very odd to explain. I have very old car ads. Um, I'll just show it next round. I'm gonna try to bring a lot of ephemera up um, that I do want to get rid of. Awesome, Aaron. I have a lot. I'm gonna try. I want to get rid of, and I'm gonna do lots of them. All in, all done. Let's call it quick. Uh, Nikki is in at five, right? Sold to Nikki. Thank you, Nikki. All right, Kim. Kim. Kim? Yeah, pull me up, Kim. Kim! Did she go to the bathroom? Okay. She fell out. No, she didn't. Wait, did she? Yeah. No. no. She did? No. Kim, where the hell are you? Kim, are you in the bathroom? <laughs> Kim? Yeah. Where were you? Jesus Christ, you scared the crap out of us. Pull me up. Yeah. Because it's their turn. Where were you? I had a pee. Uh huh. Okay. Um, so we're gonna do um, five dollar choice on these um, coin proofs or start um, five dollars for these proof sets. We have the year um, 84, 85, 86, and eighty seven. Well, let me in charge, Wes. <laughs> Oh, oh sweet any So they're starting at what? Five dollars for choice. Um. Whew. 
You're funny, Wes. Is our internet, internet bad? What? Does it look weird? Well, they're not watching it either. They're watching it from streaming. I'm watching. Is the stream on? No. See? Really? Okay. Looks like shit. They said our internet's really bad. Yeah, it's like a little kind of fuzzy. Every time I move, huh? Okay. Um, yeah, especially like right then. Annie said it looks fine. Yeah, when, it's, when you're still. Nancy's yeah, yeah, in at five. Oh, yeah, you're real fuzzy. Yeah, I don't know if I should wait yeah. and then come go back in or just wait till this is over. I mean, because I can't just re get out and come back in, I'm gonna have to restart my whole entire computer. Remember, we did that the other day, we just got out and came back in. Simple. I know, we'll just wait till this is over. Oh. We got Nance at seven. Oh, yeah, Nance, you were in first. This camera? Ow. It's me. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna switch my camera view and see if it's this camera. That's fine. Does it still does it still look fuzzy? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, it's probably my whole Oh yeah, now it's real, real bad. Yeah, you're really fuzzy. Yeah, real bad. Oh, Lord. Yeah, see, it looks better like that. Right there. I'll wait for this one to be sold, and then I'll, I'm going to go out, and I'll come back in. Thank you, Nance P. Which one would you or any would you like? Yeah, but what year? Those two right there. So 84 and 86? 84 and 86. Did you just have two or did you have four of them? No, there's four. That's why I'm just asking her what year. So what were the years again? 84, 85, 86, and 87. Okay. So Nancy has 84, 85, 86, 87. So... Years again, uh, 84, 85, 86, 87, right? Yep. Okay, she said four. Does that mean you want 84 or you want all four? Okay. I'll take all. Okay. Thank you. Okay, Kim, I'm going to go I'm going to go out and then um come back in. Okay.
No, go ahead and go. You can. Makes sense. You can go. Okay. Oh, I just popped myself over there. Didn't you touch anything? That's just really cool. That had nothing sitting here in front of me except for me. Like it's a little bag of chips. Okay. Hang on. Here. Boy. These are all uh, NFL Pro Set. They're from most of them are from the '90s. Some are '91. I think I saw a couple '92s. There are 700 cards in here, all NFL football cards. Um, <coughs> I'm sure some of them are some of these things. Um, <coughs> I said they're the NFL Pro Set. Like this is a 1990 Pro Bowl. What's his name? Don. I can't pronounce that last name. Um, we've got, uh, let's see, James Thornton. Bears. Oh, start this out at, uh, start this out at 15. Uh, Brian Noble, Packers. Amber's not in here to give me a hard time. Go, Pat, go. Uh, got the Seahawks. Terry Wooden. Uh, Get the Chiefs, Lions. Uh, there's every team's in here. There's a ton of them. Who's that? Chris, Jackie, Tony, somebody. Uh, like I said, most of these are from the 90s. Uh, 1990 draft, second round. That's who he was, Pat Terrell, for the Rams. Um. Westy Jackson with the Bears. Let's see. Lionel Manuel. Oh, I said 15, Wes. Uh, here's Jerry Rice. Uh, 49ers. I remember him. Lamar, Lathan, Oilers. Mark Vlasic. Good night, Darlene. Uh, this card right here says 22nd Annual Pro Football Hall of Fame Photo Contest. Okay, there's somebody with a photo contest, and it tells you um, third place color feature. It tells you the person that won the photo contest. I guess it was a, something going on back in the 90s. Um, so there's just there's tons of these cards. But there's 700 total in here if anybody's interested in football cards. Anybody? Anybody? Anybody at all? In, 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 uh -huh. Oh, Aaron's at 15. Hi, Aaron. I didn't see that. And Aaron, these are all, like I said, these are all Pro Set. Um, that's Pro Set Prospect, Gary Lewis of the Raiders. Yeah, and these are, I said, the majority of them are from 1990. I did see a couple that were like 91. I Aaron's the only one bidding on it right now. Wes. What do you call it, Wes? Oh, Wes. Don't just chomp on my leg. Thank you, Aaron. Okay, the hustlers are back. I'm going to move you guys over. I have to go outside and spray myself with off. Okay. I don't I'm know. Getting, How does it look I'm now? Getting, I'm getting eaten. Not in a good way. That looks a lot better. A lot better. It does? Sorry, I'm back. Okay, honey. I was on the phone. Sorry. Okay, honey. 
Is it better? That looks better. Oh that my god, yeah. a lot better. Okay, I don't know what the heck that was. Okay, so uh, these are um, a gate slices. Um, stones were just this will also be for choice. Um, started at five bucks choice for one of for three. I'll show you. I'll try to get the glare. Off. It's going choppy, real choppy again. Oh my god! Like what real is... bad. Get yeah, move slower, maybe. Okay. This is so irritating. I, it's never does this to me. See now, I can see it. Yeah, if I don't move. <laughs> don't breathe. Don't move. It'll be okay. Oh. It's so weird because in StreamYards it looks perfectly fine, but on YouTube. Like, yeah, isn't that weird? It's annoying. Man, that part, what is that? Like a burgundy type color one's pretty. Yeah. That yeah. one. <sighs> That looks good. I'm just not going to move it. Hopefully, you guys can see. <laughs> I want. Why is it doing that? I wonder why it's doing that. I have no idea. It's me. It's Kim's channel. Rise up! I did get it. Thank you. I I mm -hmm. did see it. It finally went through. PayPal has been horrible to me I'm, this week. I'm hardwired in, Rhonda. I'm not even on Wi-Fi. Oh. Maybe I should go to Wi-Fi. You would think if you were hardwired in, you'd have right. the bolt. Right. You would think. Yeah. That's what I would think. But I didn't feel like to think. So, okay. I'll move it after this to Wi Fi. Now it looks clear. It like goes in and out. Like right now, it's perfectly clear. Here. Don't breathe. I know. I'm not. I'm holding my breath. <laughs> yeah, now it's perfectly clear. Yeah. Don't breathe. Don't move. Hey, body. Did that rinse you? Yeah, I did. Okay. Nikki's in at seven. That one almost looked like you cut a beat. And and we did just restart the router right before we, we joined you guys. We did a whole... Reboot everything. Oh. So I don't understand why it's like that. Money's at eight. Nikki's out. Still. Annie wants to know if you can show the sides. Sure. You want her to move? Uh, Annie, are you for I'll, real? Yeah, I'll try Annie. It's just stone, like that, or the actual rock. So that's that one. Let me know if it gets too fuzzy. Get to I don't know. So that's how it is all the way around. How big it is? Yeah, they're huge. These things are massive. I can show you the. That literally, that right there, it looks like somebody cut a, a, a fresh beat just right down the middle. Mm -hmm. Those things are big. Yeah, they're about four inches. Yeah. I'm trying to move this. I like this one because it kind of has the sparkles inside like a geode. It's going to go too oh, well. every time I move. I didn't notice it on that side. That's cool. Yeah. And we had the blue one. It was almost like the ocean. Unplug it. We did that. We did everything. After this, I'm just going to I'm going to go to Wi-Fi maybe. We were set up. Okay. Hey, James. <laughs> you heard it. Where'd you hear that from? The grapevine? You know, James will make you purple. Or blue. Or whatever color it is. Blue. I am keep thinking purple. Look at that. Nikki's in at 10. Bonnie's out. 
Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for reading. Sorry, my internet's been lame. Oh, you're so funny. Hey, James. You see what he said? Yep. Yeah. Oh, now it's really clear again. Yeah. It's really clear. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't breathe. Don't touch it. Don't move, and you're good. Jackie's hmm. awfully quiet. Yeah. <laughs> we sold to Nikki for ten dollars. Thank you, Nikki. Was this choice or for all of yeah, them? Yeah, this is choice. Okay. Hey, Julie. Rhonda. <laughs> okay, Nikki. Thank you. It was nice. <laughs> okay. So, what are you guys going to go with Wi Fi now? Yeah. Okay. So, go, Kim, for T. Okay, T. Oh, I, I go? Yeah, you go. Okay. Okay. Brad, that's what I did. Oh my goodness. This is a whole lot of ephemera, uh, old pictures. There's 84 because I counted all of them. There's 84, 84 vintage pictures. I do have other ephemera, but I figured I'll just do all the pictures in one lot. So <clears throat> I think it's all the same family, actually. Um, I'll go through them real quick. But um, like I said, there's 84. So I'm going to do the entire lot for 20 for all of them. Um, I think if she, she said, this is her pictures. Cause it says me. Yeah. So she said me. Were, yeah. I think these were all her pictures. What's the date on the side of that picture? 58. Wow. This one says 58 also, but like I said, there's 84 of them. <laughs> that was cute. Now I'm laughing at diamond ephemera. The way he wrote it. That's why I was laughing. Ethan Mara. This says that's Betty. Betty and, that's Betty and Beth, Shirley. Bet Bet Betty and Shirley, fifty one. Wow. Look at them shorts they were wearing. Yeah. Was that kid naked? Yep. They really had nude beaches where you take kids. Aaron's a 20. This one's really nice. I love the way that one looks. That one. Oh, I like that one. Yeah. I'm just going to go through them real quick. They must have been somewhere close Some to of them are, like, really amazing, the photos and some yeah. of them. Yeah. Aw. Yeah. And that's why I said I think it's the whole family because I looked through it real quick. That one's nice. That one w says WWDC. I wonder if that's a WWDC. Yeah. And then there's that one. That's why I said there's 84. Dude, he's pulled his pants down a little bit there, but his armpits. I swear. I'm going to go through them quick so you can see real quick. And so there's the, there's still a bunch here. Everybody uh, so back there must have posed the same way. Weird. It looks like his head is actually cut off the frame, but look at the way it looks. Oh, that's weird looking. Look where he's standing at, too. Yeah, look at that. That's weird. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of these are, like, really neat. Some of them. But, See, they um, wear their socks up to their knees, too. She looks like a model to me. Uh, Yeah, she does. Right? Yeah, she does. Yeah, she looks like a model. Look at this one. Uh, American Bar Association, TWA, Miami Beach. Wow. Yeah. Uh, Look at them swimsuits. That's sexy. Hmm. Yep. Let me just see. I'm gonna. I want to show you the, the bigger ones also. No head, West. 
Then there's this this one. This one's Holy a big crap. one too. Well, that wasn't a wedding. Then you have this one. It says souvenir photograph taken on board the Queen of Bermuda. Nice. No head. Yeah, these are the ones that yeah. said taken the Queen of Bermuda. Yeah, Ronnie, there was some sexy swimsuits back then. I tell you. Mm. This one is a wedding. Yeah, that's a lot of bridesmaids. And then there's that big one, and then there's this big one, too. Those so, people look important. Wait, what? What? I don't know. I'm reading Rhonda's. Wait, what? What? Huh? Yeah. Where? Oh, that's, I think, all the photographs I have. That's why I just decided to put them all together. That's so a lot of it, them. Let's start calling it. Aaron, there's 84 yeah. here, Aaron. Yeah, get Aaron at 20. Anybody else want to come in? We need 22. I can count. With my fingers. Uh, yeah, well, I decide um, what else I was going to bring <coughs> up. Let's see. Oh, man, I'm going to drop this whole thing. I got it without dropping it. got it? Without dropping it. Don't drop it. Okay. Push it on your head. All right. Where are we at? Let's call it to Aaron. Woo! I have a lot more ephemera. Like I said, these are just the photographs. Um, I have more ephemera I'm going to bring up in the next round. A lot. Okay. A lot. You know what? I keep forgetting I have that stuff over there in that box. Yeah. Duh. Good you that you asked, Kim. Thank you, Aaron. I think Thank you, Aaron. Having... Okay. Oh. Let me just uh, switch my camera right quick. Uh... Diamond, do you see the doll back there? Kim is scared. She's watching. That's just it was because when you got up, I was like, what the hell? And mm. and look at the brooch. It matches my on my hand. Okay. Um the next one is gonna be a book lot of one, two, three, four, five books, all Disney. And uh, we'll start the all, all of them at five dollars for all of them. Um, this one is uh, the Disney Royal Recipe Collection. It's a cookbook for kids. This one is originally seventeen dollars, which I think is crazy. So there's that one. Um, there's only one page that's a little pulled out right here. You can see right there. That's it. Otherwise, the rest of the book is fine. I it think says, so. Get your work done smoothies. Ooh. Um, trick. What is that? Is this trick thing? free. Trick free tuna. I don't know. It's all recipes. Tea party tea party. treats. Dingle hopper dips. Okay. Now, I don't know what a dingle hopper is. Dinner is served. Castle calzones. So that's the one. Then the next one is the Disney Christmas Storybook. Oh, wow. Disney Christmas. They're, they're all hard covers. Disney Christmas Storybook. And this one is. Hmm, 2000, which makes it vintage. There's a Disney. That sounds so weird saying that. I know, right? It's so weird. Bambi. So you have that one, which is a thick book also. Then you have Walt Disney Storyland, 55 favorite stories. Um, this one is 1991.
can't believe nobody's jumping on these books. Then you have a hundred Disney's 102 Dalmatians, a read aloud storybook. And like I, I said, they're all hardcover. This one is also 2000, which also makes it vintage. I love that movie. You know, I have Corella DeVille leggings. And then the last one is um, Kung Fu Panda. Yeah. This one. Yeah, Bonnie uh, at seven. Is two thousand eight. The only thing with this one, it just says it has a little it has a little bit of writing on there. Happy but birthday, love So that's a vintage ish. That's what Rhonda said. Vintage ish, not yeah. vintage. It is vintage. Twenty years. 2008 to now. I've actually never seen this movie. This one, no. the girls never really cared for this this one at all. So you got Kung Fu Panda, 101, 102 Dalmatians. Remember, and these are all hardcover. Walt Disney's 55 favorite stories. Disney's Christmas Storybook. Uh, and the said, Recipe Collection. That one looks cool. Rhonda said vintage ish. Damn it. Oh. You've been told. <laughs> Rhonda's at a 10. This is my second, right? Yeah. Yeah, baby. HD. Is Jenny in here? She was. Jenny, you still here? Where'd you go? It says she's in the chat. Yeah, no, I saw her in the chat earlier. Because I wanted to show her something. She's there. Wow. Yeah. Where did you get those? <laughs> no, I mean, Jenny. She's there. She just said, I'm still here. I'm yeah. Here. Where did you get those? <laughs> <laughs> and why? <laughs> just why? <laughs> Nikki. Where'd you get those at? <laughs> Did Jenny get those? Yes, that's Jenny, why I said Jenny. Duh. Stop encouraging her. Jenny, you don't listen to her. Nobody ever does. So why would you? Oh, are we sold? Sold to Rhonda. Sold. All right, that was my two. That's your two. Okay. Let me play with this. Okay. All right, we're going to start this at 25. This is a Harley Davidson belt buckle. The back of it. But HD Harley Davidson. And I don't think this is a pendant. If it is, it's kind of heavy. Um, I do believe that's a motorcycle, right? Engine. Yeah. Yep. Actually, I don't think that's a pendant because that sure is awful freaking heavy. Oh, okay. See, look at that. She says, okay. I won't listen to Kim. Okay. Good idea. Then don't listen. No one ever does. My dog don't even listen to me. Well, I love you. So anyway, I think that's a motorcycle engine. And then, like I said, the Harley Davidson belt buckle. All right. Kids are screaming down the street. I didn't do it. So there's nothing on the back of it. And oh, there's nothing on the back of it. I couldn't find any markings or anything on the back. This is the back of it right here. Right there. Because that didn't say anything, does it? Ah. Uh, well, that might say something. That thing's so small, I wouldn't be able to tell you. 
There's something right there. Oh, heck no, I can't read that. Yes, Rhonda, I'm ordering those. I'm ordering those thingamajiggers. Got that under control. You know, my dog don't listen to me. None of them do. Cat does sometimes. Not really. So there's the belt buckle. And there's the engine. Aaron, you're very B. What does that mean? All right, we got Nugget 25. What do we call it? Unless somebody's going to come in. Okay, Aaron. Night. No, actually, Jenny, my dog, barks at me when I get out of the shower. It's rather disturbing. Not sure what he's trying to say. But yeah. And yeah, we all done with my stuff. And motor, let's put motor. Let's put motor, so I don't freaking know. Okay, there's that. All right, I gotta show you all this. This is cool. But I gotta get it, but I hurt myself. Oh, shit. All right. Please ignore my ass in the air. Hey. <coughs> <coughs> okay. Yeah, Jenny, it does. She does. It's a beagle. But she barks at me when I'm getting out of the shower. All right. Let's well, start this at $8. It is the Fisher Price telephone. The stream has the Little string that we used to pull it by. Hey, KJ. And there's the front of it. The receiver. Can't remember when this came out. Uh, there's no date. I know I had one when I was a kid, so yeah. <laughs> hey, Thomas. Remember when we had dial? No, y'all don't remember. You can turn that picture price phone. What? Remember when we had phones that actually looked like this? And it took forever for the zero, you dial all the way around and did that shit. Remember? I did not use two cans and a string. No, Wes, I'm older than that. We used to one stay on this hill, one stay on this hill, and then shot at each other. You can turn it into a real phone? How? How can you turn it into a real phone? For real? Huh? Really? Oh. It's the little Fisher Price phone we used to have when we were kids. You know when it, you know, the eyeballs move when you roll it? It still has a little. Little thing you pulled it with. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is the original one. And you can turn it into a real phone, huh? Wow. Huh. I gotta look that crap up. Hello. For you, Wes. I gotta look this up. I, I don't think anybody's interested in my phone. Okay. I was not in a I was not a kid in BC. Hustlers, are y'all ready? Can you give y'all shit? Yeah, we'll try this and see if it works. If not, we'll okay, let's try this. Off. Wait. Hang on. Any you want it for eight? Make magazine has the instructions. I gotta look that crap up. All right. So all right. 
You got it, Annie. It looks a lot better. I don't know, T, what do you think? Oh, T. No, what do you guys think? Does it look better? No, no. No. I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. I'll go shut down completely and re and I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I've never had internet like this, so you guys just go and we'll we'll come back after we reboot everything. So what you gonna do? Okay, I'll just look for you guys to pop back on. Yeah. Okay. Okay. See you. All right, I'll keep an eye out for you. Okay. Okay. Okay, T. T. Where else she go? Hmm? Well, she hold on. Ain't ready. Why am I spinning? Okay, never mind. Hang on a second. I don't know where the hell she went. Women. All right, this is a it's Marvel Universe, but it says Mighty Mugs. Um from oh crap into the date yeah okay they put me in charge you know what that means don't you it's a shit show this is from 2008 and it's the jigsaw his name all right you start this at five. Oh, they start tyrannical mystery covers i had to really work on that first word but it's still new in package. It's never been out of the box. Um, wow, it's made in Australia, New Zealand. It's by Hasbro, Marvel Universe. Hmm. So, <laughs> but anybody ever see Start at five? We look good in tights. Okay. Well, better than I do. And I said the date is, what did I say the date was? Right here. There's a little bitty numbers. 2008. Mm -hmm. I don't know who Jigsaw was. Is this like a cartoon character, I guess? Yeah, because they had Punisher, Iron Man, Vision, Galacticus, Spider Man. Okay. It's kind of like a Funko Pop, but it's bigger. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, hi, Sun and Moon Cricket. Thank you for bidding. I do appreciate it. Mm -hmm. I don't know where T ran away to. We see you here. Mm -hmm. We're looking for six. If not, we're going to call it. Mm -hmm. boop, 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 boop. Because <clears throat> Wes don't give me a lot of time. See, he just, he just so yeah. Mm -hmm. it does. Sun. Do I have your information, Sun and Moon? I don't think I do. Just in case. Hang on a second. Um, what happened? They do a reboot and everything. Oh, uh, okay. I put my email in there. If you could just send me your PayPal information and your shipping information. So I'm not sure I have your information, Sunny Moon. But thank you very much. I appreciate it. And you're up now. Oh. Oh, I should have grabbed something. Okay. I, I'll, I'll grab something right quick. Yeah, that's what I had to do real quick. Uh, uh. Uh. Where'd T go? Huh? I was like, oh. where'd T go? Okay. Um. She left me. Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna do this brooch. 
It is a blue cameo. And it is also a pendant. Oh, oh that's pretty. Yeah. Um, it doesn't have any markings, but it looks like a chain could go through here and through here. So I'm not understanding really what the what that is like. See, it has like the three yeah, holes, those little, holes through know. here and then the, for here also. Yeah, but you wouldn't want to wear it upside down. No, because then it oh. would be like that. That would make any sense. Yeah. So, um, I don't know. I don't know. Let's, uh, let's just somebody throw out a, a number on that. And mattress table too. Oh yeah, it was really nice. Okay. Well, uh, this cameo that, starts with a C. That's what's taking the light. I just noticed. I was wondering what was taking the shot. There it goes. There it is. Okay, that was what was shot. Make it a shadowy. Yep. Throw a bit. Let's go. Throw it hard, guys. Throw it hard. To hang drops or such beneath. Oh, Jade said. So maybe this you can hang some stuff from it. Oh. Hey, Don. Oh. Don's at five. Oh, my chat is slow. Uh, you know, Don, Hi, Don. Hi, Don. All right, Don. I just smirked you. Hey, Maria. Uh, hey, Maria. Hey, Maria. So, yeah, you can hang it from here or you can hang it. I get it. Like uh, Jade said, you could put some, hang some stuff from there. So it is a pendant and a brooch together. And I will be doing invoices this weekend, coming this weekend. Kim and I still have also uh, the snipe it on Thursday and then the auction with Picky Nikki on Friday. So I'm going to wait till the week is over and then I will do invoices over the weekend. All right, Maria's out. Let's start calling it to Don. Uh, Nat speeds at 15. Oh. Got a snipe. Snipe. You just snuck right in there. And guys, throw in the chat what you want to see. Do you want to see ephemera, jewelry, books, Sports cards, plush, um, t-shirts, DVDs? Yeah. yeah. Give some ideas. Yeah, just throw out what you're in the mood for. New West, all in, all done for real now. You see? Yeah, I just saw it. Yep. My chat's slow, but I just saw it. <laughs> no, Nikki, look. I didn't see any marks on the back. But it is a pendant, and it does hang, has these things that you can hang stuff from it. Hey, KJ, ephemera will be good? Good, because I have a lot that I will need to get rid of. Cards, coins, strippers. <laughs> okay. I don't have any strippers. I got cards. 
Nikki said, wait. <laughs> Anybody in? Uh, yeah, we. I have Playboys. Uh, thanks, Wills and Deals. Oh, not what is it? Not Playboys, but uh. No, you it? got uh jugs. I mean the magazine. Yeah, I have a lot of 80s, 70s, and eighties Playboys. 60s? No, you got not Playboys. 70s. I mean, Dang, Robin. <laughs> Robin, I got Is a Rolex Robin over here. For sale? Or no, she sold it. Uh, oh. it sold. <laughs> <laughs> well, who sold to <laughs> to Nance? Thank you, Nance. I think I have your info. I think. Y'all just ain't right. I think Nance, if I, I can't. Do you have Nance? I don't think I do. Okay, let me write it. Nance, can you just email me there your address and your PayPal info right there? I don't remember if I had your info. Okay, thank you. Was that one? That was one. Okay. Nikki um, said she has it. Oh, okay. Okay, let's... Uh, Let's do an ephemera lot then. Okay. Okay, this is I'm gonna, it's gonna be a lot. So um these are courier and eyes lithographs. It's for this is it says Museum of the City of New York, Car Car Courier and Eyes Lithographs. That's just the board. So there's three of those in there. Um, and they come in this case also. Starting bid? Uh, not sure yet. Well, um, I don't know. We'll see. Let, 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 let throw them. Let's th let them throw a bit out. So we'll throw that in there. Those are this is Red Wing, an Indian fable love song. You going to sing it for us? No. Um, okay. I'm not sure what year this is. Oh, 1939. Right there. 1939, it says there. So I'm going to throw that in. I'm going to throw this in. This says it's reprinted from Madame to Sam's. London collection. <laughs> That's what we want. It's little cutouts. It's little cutouts. And it's still wrapped. This is still wrapped. So we'll throw that in there. We'll throw this in there. This is a taxi song book. Um, this was... Oh, it has that... Kim, look this up. MCM XIX. MCM XIX. So we'll throw that in there. Any samurai swords? Uh, yeah, but I'm. I don't. I don't want to sell them right now. <laughs> what? M. MCM XIX. This says this is a packet. 1952. He servers. 1919. 1919. Okay, yep. that one's 1919. This one is spring 1952. Health, he's service bulletin for elementary teachers. Wow. Yeah. So we'll throw that in there. I have those too, Wes. Yeah, these are not, these two are not vintage. This is 2004, but they're real pretty for ephemera. They're calendars. Still yeah. brand new. In the package, these two calendars still brand new. Yeah, Dawn at fifteen. Um, let me see what this is. This is nineteen eighty-two Sixers eliminate the Celtics newspaper. Hi, Joyce. Hi, Joyce. Hi, Joyce. Right there, nineteen. 
1982, Sixers eliminate Celtics. Um, it's a newspaper, Sports Monday, Trenton Times, Trenton, New Jersey. Trenton, New Jersey. Yeah. The Joysy. New Joysy. And, and this is in good condition. It is bended, though, like in half, because that's the way I got it. So there, we'll put that in there. Uh, um, let me see. Oh, I'm going to put in some of these pictures. Nikki's still thinking. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, here is, let's see. Okay, this is an ad. It's, they said it's a 1965 rare ad. Um, Nikki's at 17. It's a rare ad? Yeah, and it's boarded and in and Ooh, wrapped. Yeah. It says this is the Scout. Yeah, that's, that's the old Scout. Yeah. The Scout and... Don's at 20. To, I'm trying to find a date. But it is boarded um, and wrapped. Um, I don't see a date on it. Yeah, maybe it's a very bottom. Yeah, or it's talking about the old scout. Looks like 70s, maybe. I, I don't know. Looks like they're close. I don't know. Um, trying to be careful touching all this. <laughs> Bite me, Wes. Are we at 20? If, if we go up, I'll put more up. So you have the, the Curry and Ives thing right there. This one, the Red Wing. The, uh, what is this? The London collection. This is still wrapped in paper. That, um, the scout that's boarded. The 1982 Sixers eliminate Celtics. The taxi from 1919 uh, thing. This is the teacher's packet from 1952. These are not vintage, but they still are pretty for ephemera. Um, So I have so much here of ephemera, but I don't know like what to put in. Um, this is 1942 White Christmas by Irving Berlin. Right there, it says 1942. So I'll put that in there too. It is music sheet. Yeah, Nikki's at 22. Yeah. If I threw that in there. Yeah. Yeah, we've got a lag. Um, I'm going to throw... These are like old coloring pages. Don's at 30. There's oh. that one. It's like an old... From an old coloring book. Wow. The back is colored. Somebody colored that or something right there. But that picture is really pretty. Right there. Um, I have another one of those also right That's there. Cool. That. Yeah, I have another one of those. Let's 
Huh? What? Damn. The hustlers? Are you on? Are you? Are you talking to yourself? Um. Let me see what this one is. Oh, this next one is a whole set. So I'm gonna do that on the next one. But Don's at thirty. Kim. Y'all, what's MCMXIX? Is that 1919? You said right. Yeah, that was 1919. Okay, this one's another one. 1919. When the bees make honey down in sunny Alabama. Wow. That one is also from 1919. Right there. That's what Kim looked up. Yep. You got Don at 30. Uh. So yeah, I'm gonna throw that one in too. Nikki, did you want to come back in? Or did she say out somewhere? I missed it. Oh, the next lot I'm going to do all together. This next ephemera lot, the next time. Okay. That, the next one kind of all goes together in a way. Where did Nikki go? That one. Uh, Nikki's at 32. All right. I'll throw this, another one of these in. This one's also bagged up. I'll throw another one of those in. Oh, right here. Antique scrap, it says. On the back, I just realized. It says antique scrap on the back of this. Hi, Thomas. It said it actually tells you the usage and the history. Huh. It tells you right there. Antique scrap. The uses and history. Don's at 35. Oh, bye, Thomas. Oh, here's another one of that other one. Okay, I have a whole lot for the next um, round, actually, because it kind of matches all together. Okay, um, I'll throw this in. It actually has a cardboard behind it. That's the way we got. I got it. We got it. I'm going to throw this in also. It does. Somebody have put it on a cardboard. I don't. It doesn't say where this is at or anything. Um, we say that is not in English. So I don't know where this is from. Is that German? I don't know. Mm. That is. But this one is a big picture. You can see. But I yeah, I don't know if that's German or what that is. That looks like cheese. Yeah, it does. Yeah. That is cheese. Yeah. So uh, I don't Don know. is out. All right, let's call it to Nikki. Thank you, Don, for bidding. Was that my second, right? Mm hmm Yeah. Yeah. I got another big ephemeral lot coming up then on the next one. Good. Um, I got to go. Uh, you're, uh, yeah. Uh, the Hustlers just texted me. Yeah. Spectrum Internet is completely down. Don't know when it will come up. If it does and y'all are still on, we'll come back. Okay. So what yeah, do you, their internet's down you want now. me to show again now? If you got something to show, I'm going to go grab that box over yonder. Are, are you sure? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Nikki. Uh, 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 
Okay. This one, um, I'm gonna, uh, let's see. Um, <clears throat> this one said it's a, it, this one is a 1965. It says international. It's going to be ephemera again. International Scout ad. And it is in a bag also. Ow. It is two-sided, this one. This one is two-sided. That car is oh, that that car was awesome. Look at that. That car was awesome. So that is that's what this this one is. That's that oh, that one's one. This one is a 1967 International Harvester Truck ad. Um, and this one, it says it was also two pages on this one. Right there. Rare two-page 1967 International Harvester Truck ad. And this is also wrapped New V8 Scout power to plow up a storm. I don't know anything about this, but this is the way I got it. So there's another ad. This one is bagged also. I didn't take it out, but I'll take it out to check the... This says Checkers, Words and Music by Leo Edwards and Edgar Allen. I'm going to take it out real quick just to see what the year is on this one. Damn it. Oh, I think it's the same year. Nine. Yeah. This is 1919 also. So there's that. Uh, let's just let them throw out price. Here, this one is, oh, this one is, oh no, that's sealed. I'm gonna take this one out also. It scalps all other Indian songs. Napani. <laughs> or my pretty little Indian and Patty. This one is also in a bag. I'm going to just take it out just to see if there's a date on this one also. What's MCMVI? What? MCMVI. Is that Roman numerals? Yeah. MCMVI. Hold on, I gotta go to Google. That's what it said. Uh, MCMVI. M? Is it Mary? Yeah. M? MCMVI. Oh, I should know that. It is um uh 1906. Okay, so this one is 1906. Oh yeah, Robin saw it. Okay, this one is the rainbow. This one is also bagged up. The rainbow. I'm going to take it out just to see the year on this one. Uh, MCMVIII. Did Kim leave? Robin, I need you. MCMVIII. Is that this, this one? Hang on. I'm going to do two things. MCMVIII. Three I. V V what? How many V I I? M C M V and three I's. I I I. Nineteen oh eight. Nineteen oh eight. Robin got this. All right. Okay, and this one is also Cheyenne. So. I'm sure this is probably about the same period. MCMVI. It's all sheet music. It's all sheet music. MCMVI. 1908 high bid. MCMVI. 
And then this one is 1959 International Truck Ad. Um, yeah. And this is bagged also. That's cute. That's old. Look at them tires. Yeah, I'm trying to see the... They had a date on it. Oh, wait, wait. I just said 1960... Wait a minute. Where is it? 65. All right. So no interest. Your turn, Kim. Okay. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to get an answer here. Okay, you know. Huh? Um, dealing with the other thing too. I got this. I got this. You got it. Go. I got oh. it. Okay. All right. Oh, turn the camera on. Ding dong. All right. Okay. I don't know if Brad's still in here or not. He says something about cards. Is Brad still in here? There is a hundred. Yeah, there is. A hundred and forty-six hockey cards. Hey, Patrick. And for some reason, two soccer cards. Don't ask me why. But there is World Cup USA 94. Mike Sorber and Alex Bunbury. There's I said there's two soccer cards in there. The rest are all hockey cards. I'm trying to get my bag that I put them in. It's not working for me. Mm -hmm. uh, most of these are Donruss. Uh, these are Parkhurst. Uh, upper Deck. And I believe I had looked up the years before, and now I don't remember what they are. Hang on a second. Uh, 90s. These are like 93. Anyway, there's 146 hockey cards, and okay, you start this at 10, you get all the cards, and then you get this book, God, that is a day in the life of the National Hockey League. So I'm just going to put the book with the hockey cards. Kind of makes sense. More Kim shit. You're so funny. <laughs> it's got a cool book. It's got pictures in it. Um... So down in Bean Town. I just think I twisted my arm doing that. This book is heavy. Um mm -hmm. anyway, shows all the pictures. That's a lot of pictures, articles, information. But get the book. And so there is uh, uh 100, 146 cards. And I don't know a whole lot about I mean I know hockey, I like to watch it, but I don't know anything about the players. I like there's Kurt Kurt Mueller, John. LeClaire, and it's hard to read when they said that gold. Essa, to Canaan, to Canaan, to Tuki something. Igor, I cannot pronounce these people's names. Igor Kravchuk. That's my, yeah. Oh, that, Ken Baumgartner. Why does he sound familiar? Oh, he does. Uh, Luciano. Mercedo? He sounds like a singer. There's me with a normal name, Jimmy Carson. Chris, somebody. But anyway, there's a whole. Okay. Here's the rest of the. There's a whole. Let's put them in here real quick. There's a whole bag. These are in great shape. And then I said, then there's two separate parts. Because I don't know why. I just thought they should go together. It's kind of like some of these lots. There's no rhyme or reason. Just put it in there, okay? Yeah. Yeah, see? Well, soccer, hockey, you know. I don't know. Both have to do a... Well, no, one has a putt, one has a ball. Never mind. I didn't even know. Let me do that. The, uh, Mike Sorber. I heard his name before. Well, I also watched... Uh, USA team. So, when they played. I'll be right back. Okay. No, don't leave me. Oh, my God. <laughs> hmm. 
I lost my pen. Okay. Hey. Right. Yep. Where we at? Brad at ten. Hockey cards. The book. Okay. Yeah. Book. Hey. Right. Yep. I think Brad's the only one. So yeah. Sold the brat for the low price of ten dollars. Uh, bargain basement prices right here, folks. Thank you, Brad. All right, let me get to them away. They put it somewhere. The mess I have over here. You guys have no freaking idea. All right. All right. Okay, let's try this. Um. Oh, let's get the dust off of it. Let's throw the shelf off. This is Marvel, Ant Man. Um, Ant Man and Ant. Um, wow, that's a big critter. He starts us at ten. Um, looking for a date. Uh, 2014. Hard to see with a reflection. <laughs> no, not working better. Now you see me, which is just scary. <laughs> Oh, my email address. Hold on, I'll put it in real quick. Uh, yeah. Did I do it right? There you go. All right, Ant Man is from 2014. And I guess the little dude rides on the critter, the ant. This I caught this one out. This one, this is a this just does good. I had like six of these. I already sold all the other ones on eBay. Attach wings. Okay, so you attach his wings. I guess right there. Yep. That's it. By Hasbro. <laughs> Thank you, Wheels and Deals. Yeah, it's Marvel, Hasbro. I don't think I ever saw Ant Man. Wait, hmm. right. is anybody interested? If not, we can hit pass. It's okay with me. <laughs> Batman stuff. Uh. No, not yet. It's okay, but uh, oh, good night, Nancy. But I've got another box I got to get out of storage. I know I have Batman comics in there, and they're gonna be from the 70s because they were mine. And I've got the, the Batman comics in there, I'm gonna sell those. So, all right, I think we're passing on Ant Man. What do you think? I think so. Okay, let me stick it in over here. Okay, fine. All right. Teens get back so I go grab some more crap. All right. Ten DVDs, five bucks. Okay, I'm back. Are you okay? Yeah, you scared a pee out of me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. You're up. I am? Yeah. Wait, I thought you just said you were selling DVDs. I was trying to do something until you got back. Oh, you already finished? Yes, ma'am. Does anybody want jewelry? 
I got a little bit left. I don't know how. But yeah, y'all want some jewelry? Let us know because I got a bunch of this crap. All right. I'm going to bring oh, bring some jewelry because I don't. I have books, a little bit of plush, jewelry, more ephemera. Um, okay, let's bring some jewelry, Sun and Moon said. All right, we're going to do this pendant. It is a big pendant. Right there is where you put the lock, the chain through. And there, I don't see any marking on it. That's just dirty. See, it comes right off. Hey, Lil K. So it is a nice big pendant. Um, um, what is it called? Right there. So, <laughs> anybody want to watch? Robin might have one. So, um, let's go with what we were doing. Let's just throw a number out there if anybody's interested in this. If not, say pass and we'll do something else. But there is that big locket. Thank you, Sun and Moon. That's pretty. Oh, it is. It's actually very stunning in person. The design. It's very stunning in person. It's like really cool. Something just Who's Ant Man? Ant Man? Yeah, I still got said, Are you interested in Ant Man? What? If no other interest, we'll call it to Sun and Moon. Ant Man, I got the critter. I got the Ant Man dude that rides on the ant. Oh. Yeah. Ouch. Oh. Yeah, I know what I'm doing. Ouch. Well, tell us what you're looking for. All in, all done? Yeah. And soul to sun. Thank you, sun. Awesome. That's really pretty. Do you want to know what you got? What? So now what you got? Why aren't you going? Wasn't it your first one? Yeah, but. Okay, you then you go again. I'm sorting, I'm sorting this crap out. Uh, yeah, okay. We're going to do this lot. These, it's a lot of three. These are old. It's called plaid stamps. McDonald plaid stamp Ouch. saver books. They are vintage, and um, it's like ephemera, I guess you could say. And all the stamps are in there. Um, let me see if I find a year on this. I didn't know look to see a year on it. Um, this is the back. I just saw on a paper that I thought maybe it would have the year on it. Oh, here. Let's see. 
Mm, no, I don't see any year on it. No, it is vintage. I don't know what year, though. So we'll put that in there. And this one maybe has a year. This is... Uh, this one is also like those saver books. Oh, no, I don't see a year on this one either. But it's like those saver coupon little books also. So we'll put that in there. And these are Everhard Faber Vintage Ruby Pencil Erasers in the box. And they are in there. So we'll do that. These are really cool. I don't know if I saw. They are made in USA. I don't know if there was a year here on them. Everhard, Faber, one dozen erasers. So any bits on that? If not, say pass so we can pass. Nikki's in F5. Let's start calling it to Nikki. going twice. Let's do so. All right. You done? Yeah. Okay. Okay. There's some pouring sweat over here. All right. DVDs. 10 DVDs. 10 DVDs, 5 bucks. I can do a jewelry lot. I got, I don't know. T, you have enough to do a jewelry lot? Huh? You have enough jewelry left to do a lot? A whole lot? Like a jewelry jar? So, well, well, no, I'll, go ahead. Show your thing. I'll talk to Sun and Moon in the chat. Okay. 10 DVDs, five bucks. Uh, This is Ricky and Pete. Full screen edition. Uh, Starsky and Hutch. Ben Stiller and Owen Wilson. This is with Chris Farley and David Spade. Black Sheep. This is Alfie with uh, Jude Law. What's her name? I remember what her name was. Okay. This is Camp X Ray. Um, actually, looks good. Um, this is how Stella got her groove on, or how Stella got her groove back. With, what was uh, that last one? Camp X? Camp X ray. It's cursed to Stella. Oh, that one's a good one. Yeah, that's why I just looked I at this. Saw that one. this that was a real good one. And I was like, this looks like a really good movie. It is. I've seen that a bunch of times. It's a really good movie. Yeah. Hi, Ashley. This is uh, oh, how Stella got her groove back. Um, that's Whoopi Goldberg in it. This is a triple feature. Babylon AD, Hitman, and Max Payne. And, uh, well, well Max Payne is Mark Wahlberg. So, this is, there's three in this one right here. This is a double feature. This is Quicksand and True Crime. Uh, Quicksand has uh, Michael Keaton and Michael Caine in it. Uh, this is, oh, I like this one. Joyride. That's a good one. 
And then this one is uh, Vertical Limit. Um, Chris O'Donnell, Bill Paxton, Robin Tooney, and Scott Glenn. Um, so there's there's all ten of them right there. That's it. Christian Stewart plays in the Twilight movie. I'm trying to get them all together. I think I have all all the Twilight movies. Just here, whatever. I just can't run back and forth that fast. Not with just me and TV on here. I'm, it, just, it ain't happening. <laughs> um, Ashley's World. Hold on. I'm trying to make you blue. Got it. I don't know. Tina, did you ever watch the Twilight movies? I would think she would. So, they suck. They sucked? I never seen them. <laughs> I, never, I never saw any of them. I just heard about them. Anyway, Vertical Limit. I like this one. Joyride. Quicksand and True Crime. Two movies. Uh, Babylon AD Hitman. Max Payne. There's three in that one. Let me take my meds real quick, people. Uh, no, Jenny. I saw them. I didn't like them. I still got a groove back. Camp X Ray, which if this lot doesn't sell, I'm going to figure out where our DVD player is and watch it. Alfie. Actually, I watch it on my laptop. I forget I have a DVD player in it. Black Sheep. Starsky and Hutch. And Ricky and Pete. There they are. All right. So, we're passing on this. I think we're passing, right? Yeah. Where's everybody at? No one's talking. Pass that shit. All right. I'm getting um a jewelry lot ready for. Okay, you do that. Oh wait, you want my number? Okay. Oh wait, let me do this one. Hang on. I know what I'm doing. I got this. Okay. I'm lying. Okay. All right. Here we go. Okay, this would be like an ephemeral. It's newspapers, but this all has to do with 9-11. I saw I was going to this box and I put stuff in some kind of some semblance of order. This is from the Boston Herald. Uh yep, the entire this entire thing. Oh, you start this at five bucks for all this. Boston Herald, um, I'm glad you're having a red velvet cake. You suck. The whole thing is just all the pictures and everything um, for now 9-11. Um, oh, well, except for the sale ads, you know. But, um, yeah. So, you have that one. This one is Cape Cod Times. September 12th. Attack on America. That's the whole, it's like the whole papers here. Including, yep, get their ads too. Yeah, let's see. What else? Fall Fitness Open House. You get seven months for only $349 at the Hyannis Athletic Club. Just letting y'all know that. In case you were interested. Then you've got uh, the Boston Globe, New Day of Infam Infamy. These are all going to be from uh, September 12th. This one, and this is the whole, it's the whole newspaper here. So you have other articles, and then this one is USA Today. Uh, yeah, September twelfth. Um, and this is the whole newspaper. So there's one, two, three, four. There's four big papers on it. And by the way, nine eleven was my dad's birthday. <laughs> it's a really sucky birthday that year. Just saying. Your hair looks nice. What? <laughs> what did you say? I was just sitting here saying, thinking your hair looks nice. Oh, well, thank you. After I like, she just see me. I'm like, oh my God, I gotta leave the house. I put this goop in here. What do I do with goop? I was on the phone with you when I was trying to fix the goop. <sighs> it's like, <laughs> yeah. any interest in all this?
I think we're passing West. Sorry, I'm making too much noise. You're fine. All right, I think we're passing. <laughs> Blow it up. All right, you're up. I am? Yes, Toodles. Oh, okay. Libby wants okay. my shit. They just want your shit. Here's a lot of Holy jewelry. Poo -poo. There's a lot all wearable. They you got a lot. necklaces, earrings, bracelets. Um, charms, brooches. Yeah. There's the whole lot. Like I said, brooches, there's like maybe five. One, two, three, four. I know there was another five. There's like five or six brooches in there. There's a bunch of necklaces. There's bracelets. There's like maybe 10, 15 pairs of earrings in there. Everything is all wearable. There's like maybe five bracelets in there. Did someone say brooches? <laughs> Wearable lot of shit ton of jewelry. Let's go. Hi, Lee. Yep, I did say brooches. Like there's one there. <coughs> there's oh. that one. Um, there's this one in there. Nikki. <laughs> There's this pair of earrings in there. So it's all thrown in there. Um, there's some Christmas earrings in there. There's some Halloween earrings. Uh, oh, this is cute. There's a teddy bear earring. Um, I was trying to find, see if I had anything else I can throw in there. Hmm. Let me see from my own stash if I, I'll throw in another brooch. Huh. Here, son, I'll throw in that one, too. So, like, I don't know how many pounds it is. I'm not sure how many pounds it is because I just put it all together right here on the table. But, like I said, everything's wearable. Oh, look at these little elephant earrings. Everything's wearable. Bracelets, brooches, necklaces. I don't know. There's probably, like, six brooches in there now. Five necklace, uh, five bracelets. There has to be between ten and like twelve pairs of earrings. Maybe like ten. I don't know. Probably actually like more like twenty or more necklaces in there. Are you there? He always leaves without saying what? anything. I said, you always leave without saying anything. Huh? Nothing. Okay, bye. Nothing. I got stuck in a corner. I almost couldn't get out. Here's a skull earring. There's a skull earring in there. I think there's, it's sold. Here's another brooch. Oh, is it? Oh, it's sold to Sun. Oh, there's Sun. Look at that brooch. That's in there. That's cool. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Sun. Sun, moon. Thanks. 
All right. And guys, remember, I'm not going to um, invoice till this weekend. <laughs> so, Kim? Is that your first one or your second one? I. Oh, I That's your know. first one. Did you see private chat? Oh, sorry. No, I was in, stuck in a corner, like literally stuck. Um, yeah, then I'm going to change my camera. Hold on. Because I. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to see, think of what to bring because I don't know what to bring you guys. What you're interested in tonight? Because yeah, ain't nobody saying nothing to us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna start bringing NASCAR. <laughs> All right, let me see if anybody's interested in this. For real? Huh? For real? I'm gonna start bringing NASCAR. I'm gonna sit here and do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do Susanna. Okay, I'm just gonna start charge you for this the same I paid for it actually. Um, and it is signed. Um, what is it? Oh, wow. It is. Uh, it's signed right here by, I don't know who it. It just says. What like, do you say this oh, you what do you B. Say? Ringle. B. Ringle. Right there. I am going to start off at five only because I paid five for it. So. That's kind of cool. It is, yeah, it is a painting. You can feel it. It is a painting. It's it's like um I I don't know. I don't know if I want to say homemade or anything, but I don't know. But I thought it was really pretty. Not a Picasso, exactly. But I thought it was really pretty. And it's already framed. So all you have to do is hang it. That looks like it would go pretty like in a, a bathroom or uh, like, you know, with the yellow color. A sunroom. Hey, no interest then get a, get a rope. It's not my painting, Brad. I don't paint like this. I barely can draw stick figures. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I can barely yeah. draw stick figures. I will hey. attest to that. Huh? I will attest to that. Look at this thing. I got to fix this. This I got from Brandon. Look how cute. It is like one of those vintage old like um, hairpins. Look how cute. I got it from Brandon. Oh, wow. Isn't that pretty? That is pretty. It is pretty. Kim, your turn. Pass, pass. Pass, pass. Okay, I'm over here. Pass, oh, my God. I'm getting tired. <laughs> I'm running back and forth. <laughs> there. Okay. Hey, Adam. All right, hang on. Hi, Adam. Hi, I made you blue. Made my blue. Okay. Cards, 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 cards. All right. These are 1991 uh, baseball cards. There are 25 cards total, and they are, I think most of them, yeah. Most of them are Donruss. Um, I start this at five. These are the cards, and then I have um, two uh, packages. Um, so here's uh, Greg Allen Harris, William James, somebody, Christopher Andrew Sabo. That name sounds familiar. George Antonio Bell. Uh, Kirk Gibson. Dave. 
McGadden, Don Paul, uh, Bobby Rose. Is he related to Pete Rose? Oh, that's Andre Dawson, Brian Holman, Jeff Gray. Oh, here you go. Nolan Ryan. There's another Nolan Ryan. There's a another Nolan Ryan. Oh, here's Nolan Ryan with the Angels in 1978 as pitcher. But the card is uh, this is Leaf. Uh, card is this card is from 1982. Um, it was this Pat Pat Combs, Jay Booner, Brian Harper, Alvin Davis. Paul Molitor, Pete O'Brien, oh, Nolan Ryan, again, Nolan Ryan with the Strohs, there's a lot of Nolan Ryan in here, and Dave Nilsson, and then I looked, these are supposed to have 14 cards and one sticker, because it was open, I guess maybe just took the gum out, I guess, but this is Fleer 91 Ultra Baseball, all 14 cards and the stickers in there. Hey, KJ. And then also, I don't know what year this is. This one, all the cards are in there. There's five baseball cards. Select. This is 2020. And then these are from 1995. Major League. Oh, these are upper deck. There's like, know, there's like two or three cards in here. Um, Denny's. So, all that right there. 25 cards and then the two packs. I like that. I'll give you five. Throw them in the box. Okay. I got you covered. All right. Put those in there. All right. It looks like we're going to give him to Brad. Unless y'all know something I don't know. Right? Did Tymon say more crap cards? Yes. Because. It's me. He wouldn't say that about anybody else, just me. You know that, right? Bye. All right. Thanks, Brad. I'm going to wear Brad. <laughs> My nose is just all right. There's 115 baseball cards in here. Yes, diamonds, more crap cards. These are all 1988, 115 cards, and these are all tops, I believe. Let me make sure. I think they are. Yeah, they're all these. Um, yep, my nose is just I think I'm allergic to my own sweat. Mm -hmm. Brad's a cleaner upper. That's right. NBA cards. Brad. Yeah, I'll have those Friday night. Kim, keep talking. Got those. Yes, ma'am. I just got those in. Uh, I just got the NBA cards in. I don't even know what years they are. And I haven't even got them out. Anyway, this uh, starts us at 10. These are all 1988. All tops. Um, and they're in, I mean, for 1988... You know, they're in, they're in fairly decent condition. They're the ones that have the dark, or they have the orange in the back. But um, Moose Haas, Lee Smith, Marvel, Wayne. I mean, I don't know who these people are. Bruce Hurst, Todd Benzinger, Wade Boggs, uh, Ron. Oh, what is that? Oh, Eric Davis, Ron, somebody. So. These are the 1987 NL leaders. Okay. So uh, there's 115 total. And here's the other stack. <laughs> ah. So anybody interested? <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Billy Ripken. Is he related to the other ones? Is he related to uh is he related to uh what's his name? Yeah, Cal. Okay, his brother is Cal. So baseball history is made July eleventh, eighty seven, when Billy joined his brother Cal with the Orioles. It marked first time a big league manager, Cal Sr., had two sons in the lineup. Uh, that's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Brad, I haven't even got them out of the box yet. They're still in the back of my truck. I haven't even got them out yet. I and mean, they're still all wrapped up shit. I just know what I think that's what they are. No, Brad, that means you have to be there Friday night on Picky. Oh, Brad, Friday night we're going to be on uh, Picky Nikki's channel. She'll be doing this for the first time. I expect everybody to be there and cheer her on. She needs our support. Right, Rhonda? Rhonda, wake your ass up. I think we're passing on this. See, where'd you go? I don't know. Okay. All right. Let me. Okay, let me just find something real quick because she abandoned me again. So I feel abandoned, people. Oh, here. Let me go over here. Hang on. Oh, wait. These are NBA, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, Brad, these are NBA. Hang on. Oh. Okay, Brad. Hang on. I believe these are all NBA, Brad. Um, yeah, these are all. Okay, here we go. They are. I already counted these. These are from 1993 to 94. Uh, there's 500 total, uh, and they're all NBA. <laughs> um, start at 10, Brad. Um. And hang on, I'll tell you, they're, um, they're all different ones. But I know that they're all 93 and 94. I actually counted them. Because, you know, I just like to sit here and count freaking cards all day long. So you've got... Check said, private chat when you're done. I will be. These are all in really good shape. And you've got various ones from uh, Upper Deck. You've got, um, what is this one? Clear, Ultra. This is, um, you know, if it went in that gold stuff, I could read it. I, I do. I feel like we're in an episode of Charlie Brown. Womp, womp, womp. Wait, anyway, Brad, I'll show you right here. Put my monitor down. There you go. There's 500 total cards. All like I said from 93 94. Hey, right, I think Brad's the only one bidding on it. So, Brad, <laughs> and I'll have more Brad on Friday night, like a bunch more NBA and NFL and uh, uh baseball, too. Brad. Okay, so to me. Okay, Brad, so to you. Thank you, Brad. What do you say? Okay, guys. Okay, T, where you at? On my hair. Okay, we'll get you going up here. On my hair. I can't see your face. You see my avatar. <laughs> well, anyway, all right, guys, we're going to end it. It's like slow tonight. And uh, if you can't tell, <laughs> yeah.
Oh, so, guys, yeah, and don't forget, on Thursday, we're going to be at the Snipe It auction on um, Rhonda's. Rhonda's. With Thank Nikki. you, Brad. Yep. And Friday, Friday we're Nikki, Picky Nikki is going to go live on her channel for the first time. I already Kim told him, like, everyone there. to be there. Yeah, Kim and I will be there. Mm -hmm. um, don't forget, also, I'm going to put out the thumbnail soon in a few days. Um, the Battle of the Brooches Part 3 is on the 17th at 9 o'clock. Um, Picky okay. Nikki is the challenger against the reigning champions, the Hustlers, Treasure Hustlers. Wanda, can you, put, can, can you put Nikki's link in there so anybody's not sub to her can sub to her? Yeah. So they'll find her? Or Brad? Oh, Brad, you know how to do that. I don't. <laughs> I wah, wah, wah. <laughs> yeah, here, I'm right here. <laughs> I'm um, yeah, sub to Nikki because we'll be on with uh, Nikki's first time uh, doing her her um first live on her channel on Friday. Yep, that's all. Everybody that had to be there to support yeah. her because she needed yeah. our support. So yes, yes. Otherwise, everybody's grounded. That's it. Yep. Yep. You're all yep. in timeout. And um, Brett, if you could put the Oh, well, no, you can't. I have to do the thumbnail for it. But Battle of the Coaches is Friday, the 17th at 9 o'clock, remember? And like I just said, Picky Nikki is um, the challenger against Treasure Hustlers. So we're on our third Battle of the Brooches. And I overheard a little birdie said that we do have maybe another challenge coming up. Oh, yeah. Um. A eating challenge, not a, hot, a a fire challenge, an eating yeah. challenge, which is yep. in the works. I have that coming on in Thanks, the Jenny. works. And uh, yeah, an eating challenge. Hopefully, it will be. Um, it's well, not hopefully, but seventeenth is a Tuesday. JJ and Oki doing an eating challenge. So Funny. we're gonna have that um, coming up. The yeah, thumbnail should be coming up for that soon. Um. Is it supposed to be on a Friday? What is? I don't know. Robin said the 17th is a Tuesday. Yeah, that's Battle of the Brooches. Okay. Yeah, Battle of the Brooches is the 17th. Okay. Got it. Sure, don't <laughs> drop, <laughs> drop Rhonda's link. You can drop my link too, but it's okay. Well, they have your link if they're in here. That's right. I have. I need one more to get to 400. One more? Yep. It's because you said Friday. That's why I was, I was confused, too. Oh, no. Friday's Picky Nicky's. Yeah, option. Friday's Picky Nicky. Yeah. And then, um, oh, you know what's cool? Guys, look at this game I got. Oh, yeah, I'm we're going to play this game. I'm going to end up keeping it for right now because I yep. want to try to play it. Um, I don't know if I end up selling it, but I picked it up today. And it's still, it's not even been opened. I mean, if you guys are bored, I have nothing to do. We can, we're, we, we figured that maybe we might play it one night. If you yep. guys are horror fans. I remember we had the other game over here we were going to do. That yeah. Of crap. Who's a horror fan here? Who, me? Mm -hmm. I know Sarah and Jackie are not. Who's a horror fan in the chat? Look, it is horror trivia. And it's still packaged. It looks and really it's cool. a card game. It's hey, a Gina. Card game. It's a card. Oh, she didn't even make a link. <laughs> Rosin didn't even make a link. It's a card game. Like, I'm a big horror fan. So, and it asks questions like, like, just an example, if you guys know the answer. What classic horror movie is set in Haddonfield, Illinois? Hi, Gina. No, because I told you, you got it wrong. I didn't know that was not, that was Jackie. How do you not know Haddonfield, Illinois? What classic horror movie is set in Haddonfield, Illinois? Does anybody know? I know the answer. Well, I, I know it's not showing the answer here, but I knew the answer to that. Yeah, she knows all the answers, okay? Whoa, I just hit 400. Oh, yes. You. Yes. Thank you. Yay. Yay. And you got to, uh, you got to uh, wrench Robin. 
Robin. Oh, yes, I did. Robin. Robin oh, got it. Robin, I just said Robin Halloween. got it. It's Halloween. Yeah, so I know. Okay. What is the name of Dean the demon? It. What is the name of the demon clown who terrorizes the children of Derry, Maine? Duh. If y'all don't know this, y'all are pathetic. I mean, for real. Okay. Robin got it. Oh, see, Robin knows her shit. Robin's going to know. Ashley's world got it. Robin knows her shit. Yeah, Robin's going to know all of it, trust me. Robin knows her stuff. Yep. Um, doesn't even know the name. <laughs> I knew who it was. I've seen that movie like a million times. Thanks, Wheels and Deals. Do you guys want me to do another one? You should send uh, a link to Rhonda and um, Robin. We're done with the <laughs> <Lisa> Susanna. <laughs> Oh my God. Okay, I'm op I'm opening it because I want to see how it looks in here. Let's see. Uh, Robin said keep going. She wants to know. Yeah. Oh, here. It's the movie It. Oh, it is a card game, the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah, of course not. But there's, what are the rules? Like, you have to have some kind of point system. Well, we're not doing that, that whole game like that now. No, I mean I don't know. Robin's it's really cool. Look, it is a bunch of cards. Holy crap! It's almost oh, like okay. Rhonda said, "Drop the link. Let's play." Okay, drop the link and let's play. Yeah, let's go. Drop the link to have them come on panel. We'll play. Well, remember, I can only have six people. Okay. Unless I upgrade real quick. Let's see Mama said no. Mama just said no. Just ask the questions. So just just ask the questions. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm just trying to open the thing, the the cards. They're in. Um, so yeah, I was like, what are the rules? Like, the it just says two or more players, 150 cards. To avoid becoming a casualty, you must answer multiple questions correctly. Oh, there's weapon cards, too. I don't want to be a casualty. No kidding. There's a what? Oh. Oh. I hate when she does this and then tell us what she's doing. She's, oh. Rhonda said, fuck the rules. Just answer question. <laughs> I agree. I'm okay. not into that shit. You're the one well, that said... You can just tell me later. What? Ask, I'll, you can explain it to me later. Ask the question. Okay. First question. I just got it open. Okay. What is the name of the camp in the first installment of Friday the 13th? I know this answer. I didn't even have to Do you look. know every freaking answer on this? Thanks, Simon and Cricket. Hey, Nikki. Where'd you go? You were there. You disappeared. Drop the link. Did you send it? Am I, am I supposed to drop the link? Robin's yeah, Ro uh, Rhonda said drop the link and let's play. I don't know. Drop it in there or drop it in our thing. Huh? Yep. It is Crystal Lake. Who wrote it first? Robin. Robin, Robin got it first. Okay. Drop okay, it where? This, I have... In the messenger. Got it. Um, so that way if Susanna wants to come up too. Um, okay, Got next it. one. I actually didn't know this. I always thought what it was, but I didn't know it. What does the photographer find lurking in the sewers in the 1984 movie Chud? <laughs> <laughs> Diamond. <laughs> what does the photographer find lurking in the sewers in the 1984 movie Chud? Nope. 
Does anybody know? Nope. What's the movie? Chud. I don't think I've seen that one. All right. Did nobody get it? If this if nobody gets it. I don't think I've ever seen it. Nope. That one. The answer is cannibalistic humanoid underground dwellers. Chud. I bet you've seen a dead kid. It says, what does the photographer find lurking in the sewers in the 1984 movie Chud? And it says, cannibalistic humanoid underground dwellers. Probably. That's the answer. Okay. Okay. Next Robin, one. Robin, Rhonda, Susanna. I put it in our in our chat, in Messenger. Ooh, I know this one. What is the name of the character in Poltergeist who says they're here? What's the name of the character? I think when I say a real name. Um Man, I know all these. I'm right on a lot of them. I'm I know. Yep. Mama got that one. Yep. Carol Ann. What else is new? <laughs> yep. What is the name of the demon group summoned by the puzzle box in the movie Hellraiser? Oh, crap. I have How a can movie. you not? This is easy. That one's easy. Yeah, but I saw all these before my wreck, so I don't remember all that. I just kind of still remember the movie. What is the name of the demon group summoned by the puzzle box in the movie Hellraiser? Um, I used to love their name. Cinnabites? <laughs> Sneaky. Yes! The Cenobite. That's Nikki did it. I was reading Nikki's. No, Pinhead was a movie, wasn't it? Yeah. You freeze, T. What? Am I frozen? No. T, you're frozen. Hang on, Susanna. Let me do it. Maybe make, make sure I put it in there right. Hang on, she'll come back. Yep, you spelled it right. Let me try this again. Um. Ah, hang on, boy. I'm wild. There you go. Yeah, my computer shut off. Okay. She said, Suzanne said she can't get into the stream yard. I'm, I'm, I'm putting it back in there. <laughs> and Robin said, I spelled it right. I win. <laughs> she did. Robin did Susanna, spell it right. Susanna, try that. She really spelled it right. Try that, Susanna. Okay. A group of young people are guided through an abandoned radioactive area in Russia in which 2012 film? I knew that one, too. See, the, the, the answers are in the back. I knew that one, too. And I know the one on the bottom, too. Uh, okay. A group of young people are guided through an abandoned radioactive area in Russia. In which 2012 film? Crap. Um. Radioactive in Russia. Gina got it. Gina, Chernobyl Diaries. Yep. Yep. 
I could not. It's like that word right here. <laughs> <clears throat> What is the name of the possessed doll in Child's Play? Well, I don't want any animal. I don't know. You got one behind you. Ha! Huh, I know this one too. Ha! Huh. Yep. Robin got it. Chucky. Chucky. Chucky, right. Chucky, Chucky. I have the Bride of Chucky. Huli sent me the Bride of Chucky. Would. I have the Bride of Chucky. Okay. Who wrote The Hellbound Heart, which inspired the movie Hellraiser? Who wrote The Hellbound Heart, which inspired the movie Hellraiser? So in other words, who wrote Hellraiser? Um, who wrote Hellraiser? Yeah, uh -huh. in, in other, uh, yeah. In other words, who wrote Hellraiser? Because the per same person that wrote the Hellbound Heart is also inspired the movie Hellraiser. <laughs> Rob and I don't read. <laughs> It wasn't Stephen King, and it wasn't Coons, and it wasn't Steven St Steven Spielberg. No. What? <laughs> <laughs> Where did I... you come up with that one? <laughs> but I like your I like your effort. A, a for effort. A for I, pulled it, I pulled it out okay. of my. Head. I don't see anybody else writing in the chat. So the answer is, ah, Sun and Moon got it. Clive Barker. It came right Clive up Barker. as soon as I was going to say it. Sun and Moon got it. Clive Barker wrote Hellraiser. Damn. I was about to come back there and leave the movie. No. The movie. Okay. What Stephen King movie, you guys have to know this. What Stephen King movie stars a teenager with a possessed 1958 Plymouth Fury? What's a Fury? A car. Oh, Fury. Christina. There was a possessed 1958 Plymouth Fury. Christine. I, that's what Gina that's, Marie got it. Gina I, Marie got it first. No, I said it. I said Christina. It's Christine. Christine. Oh, I, it was still A plus for effort for me. Because <laughs> my little brother freaked out. When he was there, when my daughter was born. Her name is Christina, and he was like, "You can't name after a haunted car, dude." Damien Thorne is the name of the possessed child in what seventeen nineteen seventy six movie? What's the movie? Damien Thorne. Is the name of the possessed child in what 1976 movie? Shining. No. Omen. Omen. Oh, Robin got it. Omen. Dang it. Omen. Omen one, two, and three. The Omen. Hey, Jobber's mom. I'm just I'm just reading the chat. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Jobber's mom. Hi, Jobber's okay. mom. What European director of the classic 1977 film Suspiria, awesome movie, is also known as the Italian Hitchcock? He's awesome, too. Oh, I'm waiting for the chat. Suspiria is an awesome movie. Suspiria is an awesome know, movie. Gina Marie. Talbot's mom said Gina Marie. <coughs> oh, no, that's somebody in the chat. I'm sorry. She said hi. <laughs> Dina got it. <laughs> no. No. Is that, nope, is not Roman Polanski. Huh. Oh. European now. director of the film Suspiria is also known as the Italian Hitchcock. I've never heard of that movie. What is it about? It's a Suspiria? Movie. Oh my God, look it up. They remade it. It's not the same as the original. The answer is... Dario Argento. 
T is like a movie quiz master. What? Not just on horror. Not just on horror. Do when she has the answers right in front of her. Well, no, the answers are on the back of the card. The, an the answers are in the back. But it's true, yeah. T does know all about horror. Not just that. It's she knows like the theme songs to them and who sang it. And yeah. What 2005 film starring Jennifer Connelly was based on a book by the author of the Ring trilogy? Maybe J.R.R. Tolkien. Hmm. Ah, I was right. Oh, no, no, De no, 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 of course, Dick Tracy over there. Who the hell? I don't know. I guess I'm the wrong person to come up on chat. Somebody oh. else. <laughs> the tower's I, mom, get it? Nope. 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 It's a 2005 film. Hand the Rocks the Cradle is a lot. It's 90s. That's 90s. Yeah, that's with, um, what's her face? That was a trippy movie. What's her face? I don't remember the actor's names. Rebecca. She was in so, Risky Business with Tom Cruise. The Grudge? No. It is Dark Water. Never heard of it. Dark Water? It's a really good movie, actually. It is a really good movie. That's one I should show Tower. She might like that one. That's the one I should show Tower. Okay. How about this one? Juliet Lewis. Yeah, who's that? Oh, no, I know Julia. She's an actress. Um, she's the one that's in the Natural Born Killers movie. Never seen it. Oh. I knew you were going to do that. I knew what you were gonna 1960s that. gothic television soap opera depicted the lives of the wealthy Collins family and was remade into a film starring Johnny Depp? Dynasty. What? <laughs> well, so you know what, Sue? So I used to watch that, and it is kind of a sometimes like a horror movie. What Dynasty? Yeah, there's nothing horror about Dynasty. It is when you have to watch it with your mother. <laughs> Nikki Dark got shadows? it. Dark Shadows. Oh shit! Dark Shadows. Nikki got it. Nikki got it. Dark Shadows. Okay. What is the name of Sigourney Weaver, Weaver's character in Alien? I know that one because you I watched all of them with you. I know I know I know and you won't let me answer with you. What is the name of Sigourney Weaver's character in Alien? Robin Robin's laughing at me. Yeah, I saw. You can't even think <laughs> your answers. Oh, come on, people. I know this one. Sigourney Weaver. She what was her character's name in the movie Alien? Come on, let me tell them. Wait. Let me no. read that so I can feel smart. Let's see. They're all Googling, you know that, right? I don't have to Google. I know the answer. She won't let me. I didn't put the pin, the brooch, really good. It's falling. I had to put it on a bit. Okay, nobody knows the answer. Can I say it? Nobody knows the answer. Robin has to know this answer. Come on, man. Robin has to know this answer. Come on, honey. Please, please, please. Robin, I'm, I'll be surprised if you don't know this answer. Ripley. Ripley, believe it or not. No, that that's a museum. What? <laughs> Ripley, believe it or not, you said. What the hell? Ripley. Matter of fact, I just saw Ripley last month, remember? Huh? Yeah, I just saw Ripley. Bella Lugosi was best known oh, for his shit. portrayal of what universal monster? Oh, shit. Bella Lugosi. That's way back, guys. Well, Lugosi is not 
Chinese or Japanese, so we know it's not Godzilla or King Kong. No. Hello, oh, go see. Come on, man. Yeah, this is like, I used to watch these with my dad in the funeral home. Robin yeah, got it first. Yep. Dracula. Dracula. I mean, Dracula. Have Diamond got it. Yep. Watch a horror movie in the funeral home with dead bodies. Oh, this one is good. Who I know it too. Who is also known as Mistress of the Dark? Shadow Woman. <laughs> that was good. You guys got to know this. Who is famous for being known as Mistress of the Dark? Does the name start with an E? You got a, a wrench, KJ. Oh, got it. I'm on it. Uh, Nikki got it. Elvira. Yeah, that's yep. what I said. Does the name start with an E? Yep, Nikki got it. Elvira. KJ, I turned you. I turned you blue. Okay. What body part was the creature after in the movie Jeepers Creepers? Oh, what was the body know. part he was after in that movie? Um, Jeepers, creepers. Would you get the song? How you like? Can you people rhyme? Creepers. Is it the face? Because it was. What uh, rhymes with creepers? Robin got it. Eyes. Yeah, peepers. Yep. Mm -hmm. Complete this quote. I ate his liver with some onion. Clarice, Clarice. Yep. Finish the quote. I ate his liver with some onions. Tabasco sauce. Oh. Oh. Liver and onions. That's what I'm just. Fava beans. Robin got it exactly. Fava beans and a nice Chianti. Yep. What the hell? Is Chianti. It? Huh? Okay. This 1931 movie features the classic line It's alive. It's alive. I've seen that movie. I can't remember what it is now. Bob. The Blob. It's alive. It's alive. That's like the famous <sighs> quote for this movie that's been remade. A million hundreds times. And hundreds of times. Yeah. I think? No. No. It's alive. You got the, Robin it's got alive. it. Robin got it. Frankenstein. Frankenstein. I need to get one right. Seriously. Come on, Sue. Come on, Sue. You can do it. Come on. I have confidence. Oh, I remember this part. In what horror movie do we see Kevin Bacon impaled in the throat? With an arrow, Kevin Bacon impaled in his throat with an arrow. What Hi, Elizabeth. horror movie is that? Hi, Elizabeth. Kevin Bacon. Yeah, Brad, I'm gonna watch oh. it too. Yeah, Brad, that movie is really great. Camp X Ray. I really, I've watched it a bunch of times because I really, really like it. That's really good. Um, Robin got it. Didn't she? Nope, not Flatliners. Rhonda sort of got it. It's Jason. It's Friday the 13th. Gina Marie got it. Exactly. Oh, Wait a minute. Kevin Bacon was in Friday the 13th? Yep. Yeah, way back then. And so was um, Johnny Depp. So was Johnny Depp. No, Johnny no. Depp was actually in, he was in Nightmare on Elm Street. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. No way. I did not know that. Yep. Johnny Depp is in uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. That movie freaked me the fuck out. Okay. This is a good one. What are the seven deadly sins featured in the movie Seven? Oh. Hmm. Thanks, Elizabeth. I know one of them. What, um, are the seven, what are the seven deadly sins featured in the movie Seven? Gluttony. That's one. Talbert's bomb got greed. Yep. Greed, gluttony, lust. Lust. Lies? Not lies. No. Greed, gluttony, lust. 
Premarital sex. <laughs> sloth. Gina Marie got sloth. Yep. Jealousy. Is that like pride? Uh, envy. Pride. Envy. Envy. Yeah, envy. I just said one of them, and there's one more. So there's greed, lust, envy, sloth, gluttony, pride, and... I'm trying to remember the movie. One more. Murder? <laughs> greed, lust, envy, sloth, gluttony, pride, and... Envy. I just said envy. There's envy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I was reading Robbins. <laughs> Wrath? Wrath? Wrath. My favorite. Wrath. Rhonda got it. <laughs> Are you serious? You like wrath? <laughs> <laughs> really? I never thought that, would you? Hmm. <laughs> Let me think. A little, a little squeeze. Kim over there? Hmm. Uh, me? Hmm. Yeah, you. T. Yeah, my favorite. <laughs> the wrath of okay. T. You don't want to be there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Trust me. <laughs> okay, this is a quote. We have such shy, we have such sights to show you. Name the movie. Yes, I know. It's actually a very popular quote in the movie. I know the movie. They give you a year. No. Um. Is it Poltergeist? Oh, sorry. No. Um, no. It's, um... Actually, I'm going to keep it like this. She gets mad. She's like, no! What? <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, Nikki said Pinhead, but it is Hellraiser. Rodner Hellraiser. got Hellraiser. Okay. It says it is Hellraiser. Uh, okay. In the movie Aliens... Oh shit. Ripley's friend Bishop is a what? I know who Ripley is now. She's Sigourney Weaver. She what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. What is Bishop Ripley's friend in the movie Aliens? An android. Yes. He was an android. That's because Kim is texting me the answer. I'm trying to help Sue out. Kim is cheating, guys. No, I'm just trying to help Sue out because she don't know none of this yet. Robin, did you see that? Kim's cheating. And she just wanted to get one answer right. Kim's cheating. Somebody, <laughs> Sue, you got a big mouth. What's wrong with you? <laughs> I'll be a timeout again. Thanks. <laughs> I can't take credit for where it's not due. So, <laughs> <laughs> one type of, here's another one. This one I just saw actually not to like a, a year ago. What type of virus is unleashed in the 2016 movie Train to Busan? Train to who? What? The what type of virus is unleashed? In the 2016 movie, Train to Busan. Train to do Busan. Yeah. Early onset COVID. <laughs> but this might Train be next. To... Um, have... This might be next, though, after COVID. Zombie? Is that what you're talking about? Zombie... Uh, yep. A zombie virus. A zombie so virus. Body. She said body eating, zombie. so I just figured zombie. <laughs> Jenny said zombie. Yep, Jenny says zombie. Ooh, I know this one. Michael Myers' mask is supposedly based on what famous actor? Oh. He didn't have the hockey mask. That was Jason. No, right? that's Jason, yeah. Jason had that's the hockey Jason. Michael Myers' mask is supposedly based on what famous actor? It's not even supposedly. It is based on this actor. It is based on it. Yeah. It is the face of this actor. Wow. Oh, Gina Marie got it. William Shatner. Oh, really? Yep. It's it, that's it's William Shatner's face, his mask. I could not well, think of that same idea. How do you guys know this? Like, it's fascinating. 
They got better memories who than we wrote, <clears throat> Who wrote and directed A Nightmare on Elm Street? Shit, I know this one. That's the guy with Freddy Krueger, right? Yep. Yes. Okay. No. Yes, yes, yes. Yep. Who wrote and directed? Steven Steel Spielberg. Uh, no. That's my no. <laughs> That's our go-to answer. Just remember. Yeah. I can't remember his name, Robin, either. Oh, Robin got it. Wes Craven. Wes Craven. That's right. It's right there. You do know, real quick. You know where Wes Craven gets all his ideas at, right? Where? He dreams them. How do you know? You didn't even know his, who it was. <laughs> I know who Wes Craven is because I was writing classes in school, but that's one of the things we were um, they were talking about. Did he die? Because Robin's saying rest in peace. Wes Craven died? I don't know. Robin's saying RIP, rest in peace. Oh, Freddie got him. Oh, Freddie got him. But yeah, there was, it was a documentary they did on him, an interview we watched. And it's, everybody, they were asking him, how does he get his ideas for uh, these movies and his books? And he dreams it. Yeah, he passed away. Yeah, he passed away. Oh, wow. Crap. All right. Next. Leatherface was a character in what horror film? Oh. That's another classic. Mm -hmm. Isn't that Chainsaw Massacre? Yes! Oh yes. my God! Wait, and that Kim, one, did you text her? Oh, but I didn't. I didn't, nobody, I didn't send it to her. Nobody texted me. No, no one. I'm telling you that honest truth. I won. I won. That's it. I quit. I won. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> no, I did not text her, okay? Nope. I couldn't text faster. Very good. Her. Oh, okay, what so about this quote? Name the movie. I see dead people. Oh, <gasps> oh, sixth sense. You got it. Yes. yes. I am fucking on a roll now. <laughs> on it now. Woo. Ah, come at me, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it, bitch. Bring it. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, what movie contains a scene? in which a father chases his son around a hedge maze with an axe. Ooh, ooh. Children of the corn. Nope. Oh, I tried. <laughs> you did good, <laughs> Santana. A father's chasing his son through a hedge maze with an axe. You want it a little... Robin, Robin saying Shining? Yes! I was just yep. gonna say, here's Johnny. Here's Johnny. Good job, Robin. Okay. Oh, I don't make this anymore. In what movie does the government sanction an annual 12 hour period during which all criminal activity is legal? Oh my god, that's the that movie that's out with the the Oh, I know the name. I'm not looking at the chat. My eyes closed trying to think. What the hell I'll is I'll read that? it again. Yes. In what movie does the government sanction an annual 12-hour yeah. period during which all criminal activity is legal? Oh. I looked down and I saw Robin. She said The Purge. Yep. Yeah. I want to see the new one. I knew it, but I didn't know. The, I couldn't think of the name. I want to see the new one. Yeah. I only saw the original, and uh, well, I saw the first one and the second. That was the only ones I saw. I've seen all after of them. After that, it's I was like, "Yeah." That, after that, I, I didn't get into it. After that, the first. Oh yeah, I want to see. I want to see the last one. It's supposed to be really good. Tell okay. me, mom saying the lottery. It was oh no, the lottery! I have that written. It's, it's a story. Um, it was banned. The book. Oh. The lottery's fucked up. I mean, it's fucked up. <laughs> Okay, T. Okay. Juwan was the inspiration for what American horror film? Mm, absolutely no clue. Never even heard of it. The what? Juwan. Juwan. Never even heard of it. I can't even spell it. Hmm. 
Do you know it, T? Yeah, I do. Picky said the the ring. No. Oh, Jade Moon got it. The grudge. The grudge? Yeah, I haven't seen that. The grudge. Jade Moon grunge. got it. Very grunge music. Okay, name the movie from this quote. Be afraid. Be very be afraid. afraid. That's a classic know. quote from this movie. That's me getting out of the shower. Be afraid. Be very be afraid. afraid. Is that Sandman? Mm -mm. No. <laughs> Gina Marie Bugs Bunny. <laughs> 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 This is a classic one, too. All right. Then nobody got it. The answer is the fly. Oh, oh my God. God. I remember that. That's right. Be afraid. Be very. Yep. I yeah. remember that. that was just weird. The fly. They And then they redid it with um, Jeff Goldblum. That's it. Yep. Okay. What TV show remake is based on a 1985 movie starring Michael J. Fox as a high school basketball player? Mm. Werewolf. Werewolf. Close, Susanna. Close. Not it. No, it's close. There's a word in front of it. There's a word in front of wolf, but it's not where. Hmm. Teen Wolf. Okay, Jade. Teen Wolf. Teen Wolf. I'm sorry, guys, that you guys are not putting in the chat and I'm listening first. And that's so wrong of me, but I get super excited when I get one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here's one. Who wrote the short story on which the film Children of the Corn was based? I know. Susanna? I have no clue. Oh, come on, man. Who wrote Children of the Corn? Steven Spielberg? No, but the... <laughs> I thought that was, I thought that's why she was saying Susanna. <laughs> Who wrote Children of the Corn? Albert's mom said oh, KJ King. got it. King. Stephen King. King. Stephen King. When you hey, say Steven, Jane. I'm like, come on, Sue, say the right last name. Uh, Jane's here. Runch Jane. Got it. Hi, Jane. Hi, Jane. Hi, Jane. What, okay, word. what breed of dog is Cujo? Oh, shit. A rabid one. <laughs> oh, he's, he's, um. What breed uh, of dog is Cujo? Rottweiler. Mm-mm. Grand Massive. Mm -hmm. A what? Massive? Uh, Jay oh. got it first. Saint Bernard. Saint Bernard. Uh, yep. So beautiful. I love Saint Bernards. I okay. want to say Bernard so I can call him Murray. Yeah, they're beautiful. Who is the actual father in the movie Rosemary's Baby? Who is the actual father? In the movie, Rose Rosemary ba Baby has to be one of my top, top five horror movies. I can watch that one over and over. And Didn't over. you watch it? Is yeah. it The Priest? The Priest? No, Jay got, no, no, wait a minute. Robin got it, the devil. Robin got it first. Elvis Presley, I love, it. And Robin. I love it. I'm sorry. Hmm. Oh my god, you guys are gonna laugh. Uh, you, Di Susanna, Kim, Susanna, Kim, Robin, Nikki, Diamond, Rhonda, listen to this. <laughs> this will make you laugh. What was written on a hotel door in the movie The Shining? I wrote this in in uh, Messenger a lot. <laughs> I'm not in it. 
I'm not saying it. No way. <laughs> Do you know what I'm talking about now? I'm, yep. that, I'm not. Yeah, Robin that. got it. <laughs> I know exactly what you're talking about. That's my word go to word. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> Red rum, I'm breathing. Red rum, I'm breathing. Woosa, woosa, woosa. You remember I kept writing that? Yeah. <laughs> That's my go to. Um, oh. That's like, I'm looking for ones that we haven't done. There used to be a, to be a TV, sh uh, a show on HBO called Red Room. I remember it. Oh, <clears throat> I remember seeing this one when I was young. This 1985 horror comedy about vampires was Jim Carrey's first starring role. Oh, shit. Oh, God, I can't stand Jim Carrey. I can't either, so I haven't watched very much. Of yeah, but this is 1985, Jim Carrey. His first starring role was about, what was the name of the movie? Ace Ventura. Young. Huh? Ace Ventura. No, it's a vampire movie. Oh. It was Pet Detective. No. Gina Marie is saying Black Color? Black Color? Oh, no. Robin got it. Once bitten. Oh. Why shot? Yep. Once Walker bitten. Shot. I remember seeing that as a kid. Oh, now I remember when he was. Yes. You know what I'm saying? I do. I do. Now it's coming back to me. Yes, I do know. Yep. What are the three simple rules for taking care of a mogwai that must never be broken in the movie The Gremlins? There's three things. The three no. simple rules to take care of a mogwai. One of them is do not feed them after midnight. Yep. Yep. Come on, Sue. Two more. I'm rooting for you. Come on. Don't give them water. Yep, no water. And Rhonda said the same thing. Do not feed after midnight. But there's one more. Oh, ah, and Rhonda got it. No light. Oh, no light. Oh, I didn't know that one. Yep, no bright light. If don't not, you'll have a grim one like I do up on the shelf. And don't feed them after midnight. Hmm. Yep. I did not know about the light one. Yeah. Yeah. I hope you guys don't test me again tomorrow because you know I'm still going to fail. Uh, yeah, we're expecting you to remember all of this because you will have a quiz tomorrow. Yeah, okay. You have a pop quiz. Yes, okay. you will. Mm -hmm. This one is another classic movie I used to watch all the time. This Name the movie from this quote. I'm your number one fan. I'm your number one fan. Yes, Robin, you got all three of them. Yes. I'm your number one fan. Oh, Gina Marie got it. Oh, Misery. Misery. Oh, my God. I love that movie. Isn't Misery. that an awesome movie? That is, like, um, amazing. Like, imagine, like, breaking somebody's bone, keeping them there as a Oh my goodness. I like it. I like it a lot. Kathy. I love that movie. That was just wow. Oh. Great actress, Kathy Bates, I have to say. Oh, she's amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Kathy Bates is amazing. Did you see you, you don't watch like American Horror Story? No, no. It's awesome. She's in there too, Kathy Bates. Amazing. Yeah, be careful, Robin. What happened? Robin goes, I live in Missouri. Oh, wait. Why? <laughs> Why? What's wrong? Was the movie based in Missouri? Damn, but I brought a board. Oh, I don't know. It's Okay, this 1993 horror comedy 
starring a young Jennifer Aniston involves an annoying, vengeful creature who believes a family has stolen his pot of gold. Ooh. I don't know. Say it again, T. A 1993 horror comedy starring a young Jennifer Aniston involves an annoying ventral creature who believes a family has stolen his pot of gold. They're all putting in Leprechaun. Yeah. Is Leprechaun. it? Yep. Leprechaun. Who is the actress who portrayed the young vampire Claudia in the 1994 movie Interview with the Vampire. Who is the actress? Oh, was that that little girl? No, no, no. no. Is that uh -huh. the movie with Tom Cruise? Yes. Okay. Interview with the Vampire. Who was <laughs> the young vampire Claudia? Who is the actress that played it? Oh, I don't know her name. I don't ever. Oh, Nikki got it. Kirsten Dunst. Wow, Nikki. <coughs> Kirsten Dunst. Go, girl. Okay. What is the name of the character killed in the famous shower scene in the movie Psycho? No, that's not the one that married Tom Cruise. Kristen Dunst didn't marry him. That was um, Nicole Kidman. She didn't marry him, right? Kirsten Dunst? No. No. Uh -uh. What is the name of the, fa of the character killed in the famous shower scene in the movie Psycho? Jada St. Norman's mother? <laughs> Rhonda said, bitch, that got stabbed. That's right, Rhonda. The bitch that got stabbed. I like that. It is Marion Crane. Oh, I can't stand this this person that I'm gonna say. Oh, Robin said Marion. Okay, I can't stand this person. Paris Hilton's on screen demise. Good was the primary draw for what 2005 mm -hmm. remake paris hilton yuck on screen demise was the primary draw for what 2005 remake dumber and dumber dumber that's car that's comedy we're doing horror oh sorry well, when you're saying her name i always think of dumber um friend. let's see Ooh, Nikki was close, but Gina Marie came in first with exact of House of Wax. House of Wax. Yeah, that's a good one, too. I just saw that. I I mean, I saw it a long time ago, but I watched it again with Tara the other day, actually. Okay. This is another classic one, actually. Where are the phone calls coming from in the movie when a stranger calls? Oh, shit. From a landline? Where? The person's calling the house. The what? Whoever's calling their house. From another house. Nope. Inside the house. Inside the house. The person's actually inside the house making the phone calls. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> Fucked up. Okay. At the end of the slasher film crossover, Freddy versus Jason, which horror icon walks away holding the other's severed head? Hmm. Huh? I say Jason walked away with Freddy's head. Yes! It was awesome crazy. job! I took a guess at that because I like Jason better than Freddie. Robin got it too. 
I had no clue. I just took a guess. Who wrote the 1981 film An American Werewolf in London? Oh, shit. Who wrote An American Werewolf in London? Can I say his name again or no? Yeah, it's go ahead. not that one. <laughs> It's not that one. <laughs> <laughs> it's not him. But I like it when she goes that. It's funny. I, you uh, know, if it's not Steven Spielberg, it has to be Stephen King. Stephen King's like the master of all of these movies, no? No. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, the answer is, oh, Robin got it right. John Landis. Oh, shit. It's John Landis. Ooh, do you guys remember th this actually? I love, I only love this movie because it was my dad's favorite movie. He always watched this movie. In the movie, The Predator, what substance conceals the character Dutch from the creature? Mud? Yes! Thank you. I knew For that. Real? Yes, knew it's that. mud. The answer is mud. I, I knew that. I'm impressed. You got it. I watched that movie. So that's four. Or that's Wait, three that I got right. I'm counting. <laughs> Keep a score, people. <laughs> I'm keeping score. Okay. This is another classic. What substance is dumped on the main character at the prom in the movie blood blood what kind though pig's blood yes thank you um that's four people four four people keep bring it, it bitches. Bring it, bitches. <laughs> yeah count them bitches <laughs> <laughs> crap i'll mute i train Okay, oh, this this is a good movie, too. And what 1989 movie did Fred Gwynn tell his neighbor how he can make his son Gage live again? I'm back to not knowing. The 1989 movie did Fred Gwynn tell his neighbor he can make his son Gage live again oh man uh that movie fucked me up oh, robin got it pet cemetery and susanna who is the uh author steven spielberg no Stephen <laughs> king <laughs> that's gotta be one or the other <laughs> i think i'm gonna stick to, to king from now on <laughs> yeah because you have better luck since Spielberg didn't write horror. Yeah. Didn't he write at least one? No. I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. Okay. Um, we all. Oh, this is name the movie from this quote. We all go a little mad sometimes. We all go a little mad. Sometimes. Oh my god, I so have an answer, but I'm not saying it. Nope, not gonna do it. We all go a little I'm so glad I was muted then. Sometimes. Net is saying shining. Nope, not shining. Nope. Scream? Nope, not scream. Jade is saying it's a mad, mad world. Nope, not that one. Psycho. Yes, Psycho. Robin said it. Yep. We all go a little mad sometimes. Sometimes. Okay. Ooh. What is the name of the little girl who's possessed in the movie The Exorcist? Oh, shit. Fuck that shit. I'm not, I don't even want to talk about that movie. <laughs> That's a fuck that shit. I'm in the living room by myself with the lights closed and you're talking about that stupid movie. <laughs> what the heck? 
What is the name of the little girl? I'm not, I don't know, I'm not answering because I don't know. Yep, Robin got it, Reagan. I, I, I was not going to say it. Shirley Temple, right, Talbot's mom? Wasn't she so cute with those little curly hairs? <laughs> so cute. What? Shirley Temple. Shirley Temple. You don't know Shirley Temple because she was cute and nice. I know. No, and she was, no, she was annoying. Somebody needed to behead her. And lollipops. No, you wanted the lollipops stabbing somebody in the fucking eye. No. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Stab her now. <laughs> Just keep a little kid dancing around and no, stab her. Make her shut up. That's yeah. like, a, do you guys remember an old, old movie when this little girl, it was like in black and white. I forgot the name of it, but she had these shoes and they they tap shoes. And she would like tap all over our house, and and then she would kill pe kill the the people inside the um, I don't know inside the garage or whatever. Oh, do you remember that movie? The what? No. The <laughs> little kid tap dancing all over my house. Be a dead little kid. She had tap shoes. Cut her damn feet off. All right, two more. I didn't open even the other pack of cards yet. This is just this pack, but just two more. Okay. Name the movie from this quote. One thing about living in Santa Carla, I never could stomach all the damn vampires. Uh... One thing about living in Santa Carla, I never could stomach all the damn vampires. Santa Carla? Mm-hmm. Name the movie. Classic movie. It's another classic movie. Ah, Rhonda got it. Lost Boys. Yeah, Lost Boys. Yep. Rhonda got it? Rhonda yeah. got it. The Lost Boys. Why can't I see Rhonda's name? It's right there. Oh, I see, it. I see it. I'm sorry, honey. I saw it. I saw it. Please. Okay. I don't know if a lot of you guys seen this movie. I've seen it. I've seen all three of them, actually. It's not, it's actually, this movie is banned in a lot of countries. Um, but I've seen all three and I like them. But, okay, let's see. This 2010 movie involved unwilling participants in a Nazi doctor's sadistic experiments. Oh, shit. Mm. Yeah. I've seen all three of these, and these are banned in a lot of countries. This a lot of countries. Banned. Huh? Never, never heard of it. Yeah, I like it. It's, it's not for a lot of people, but I like it. No, it's not soft. 2010 movie involved unwilling no. participants in a Nazi doctor's sadistic yeah. experiments. Yeah, I saw has like seven. It's not hostile, is it? No. No, but Gina and Robin kind of got Gina kind of got centipede, but Robin got the full name, the human centipede. Robin got it. The yeah, because the hostel was not banned. So, because I saw oh, it. This movie is banned in a lot of countries. You know, you should get a game all about Grey's Anatomy, and I know I will win because I know everything about Grey's Anatomy. I never even saw that. So then I, I'll win anyway. <laughs> I never even saw that. How can you not see Grey's Anatomy? What is no, wrong? I don't watch that. It's a people die. You'd be happy. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, people die. You'd be happy. What the fuck? So, Rhonda says no. You won't, Susanna. About the what? About Grey's Anatomy? I don't. That's what Rhonda said. No, you won't, Susanna. I'll challenge you. Oh no! Did you guys hear that? The challenge word. Rhonda, uh -oh. challenge you on Grey's Anatomy. The challenge word was brought up. Challenge. Oh, 
Are you challenging Rhonda? I am on Grey's yeah. Anatomy. I'll challenge anyone on Grey's Anatomy. Rhonda? Rhonda, did you hear that? You're getting challenged. You're getting challenged. Yep. But Ron, does Rhonda watch Grey's Anatomy? I don't know. She says, no, you wouldn't, Susanna, so I figured she would. But I do. I'm that confident in that one. I will not lose. I'm confident in Roseanne. Somebody throw me a Roseanne. I'll throw you a Roseanne right upside the head. What? <laughs> yes, I will not lose, Shadow Woman. Rhonda, I will not lose. Bring it on, baby. Bring does it any, on. Does anybody know that show, Roseanne? Yeah. Duh. I know you do. Does anybody she, in the chat know that show, Roseanne? She has no idea. Huh? Honey, you got seven thumbs down. Wonder who that could be. Damn, man, they love me so much. They bother to find my channel, which is hard to do. Number one. Yeah, I wonder, I wonder who that could number be. Number two took the time to push that button. I'm so happy. <laughs> Damn, thank you guys. If you're out there listening, I appreciate that because it still helps the logarithm. Oh, oh yeah. Rhonda said you will lose. I will not lose. I will not lose. Robin, I, I've almost seen every episode because of T. Oh, my God. Robin said I've seen every episode of Roseanne. <gasps> I want to challenge Robin on the show Roseanne. Hey, you do know that the guy that played uh, his dad died, right? Uh, yeah. I mean, he just died in July. Let me see. Let me see if there's a game on there on... Yeah, um, you just said there's a trivia game. Uh, shenanigans. Let's see. Shenanigans? Shenanigans. Shenanigans? shenanigans? Yep. I don't... For what? I, I want to challenge Robin on Roseanne. Oh, boy. I want to see this one. All right, we got to find that one, too. But we'll do that one in a in a back room. Yep. Me and Robin. Robin, you up for that in a back room? Oh, hashtag challenge accepted. Whoa. Yes. Oh, that's John Goodman. The guy that played John Goodman's father died. Not John Goodman. No. No, the actor that played his dad in Roseanne died. Oh man, let's get in the back room. I want to go. Oh, me, I want to challenge Robin on uh, Roseanne. You ain't got no, wow. You ain't no questions. Well, one of you could ask me and Robin questions while we're there. You guys look up the questions. All you have to do is like type in Roseanne TV show questions? challenge or quiz or test. All right, that's your job, sir. Yep, I'm looking. I'm looking for good questions right now. Yeah, but Robin, we, uh, we me and Robin gotta go. Oh, see it. Uh, no, Annie says I want to see, but Ro I, I, I can't. Robin's in in the chat. It's, it wouldn't be fair. I will hear the uh, question before Ron uh, before Robin does. Yeah. <clears throat> Do you know I've seen about. Every episode of Roseanne about a hundred times each. Yep. Ask him. Oh yeah. There are some I've seen five or six times. Yep. yep. I've seen almost every episode about a hundred. Yeah, Ned Beatty. Yes. Well, I guess um, Rhonda must be afraid because she never accepted my challenge. Block, 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 oh, block, she block. didn't. She said you will lose. But she See, never. But I got Robin to challenge me. Mm -hmm. Night, KJ. <clears throat> Night, KJ. Okay, I found the questions. Yeah, but... For, it, for Dan. Yeah, but Robin, I hear it before Robin. Well, it has to be in the back. I'm sorry. 
and or Robin needs to come up on on panel. I put the link in the chat. Yeah, but I'm all for Robin. I'm all for that challenge. wipe this makeup off my face. Type them in the chat. Let y'all read them together. I'll still see it first. Shit. Yeah. Shit. I almost missed it. Shit. Yeah, not tonight, but soon. Yeah. I, we can't do that because I'll see everything first. Right. Or I hear it first. But you guys can't cheat and go look for questions. You can't look for the answers and the because oh, I don't need to look for the answers. Okay, right, Kim? No, she don't need to trust me. <clears throat> Ow! Oh, it's twelve thirty. All right. Kim, you ready to close up? Sure. Thank you guys for coming to the auction. Um, don't forget, like I said, we're going to be on the Snipe It on Rhonda's um, channel on Thursday with Nikki. Then we will be with Nikki on Friday. Broach Battle is on Tuesday. Nikki uh, is challenging the Hustlers. That's Tuesday on um, Hemlock, my channel. Well, me and Kim's channel. And I forgot what else is coming up. Well, tomorrow, tomorrow morning, we have our show. Julie oh, yes. Myself, which is Straight Talk tomorrow morning. Yes. Then, make sure you go see Straight Talk. It is awesome to wake up to and watch Straight Talk. And it really then, is, Susanna. Tomorrow afternoon at 1. Nikki's in my auction is at 1 p.m. Yep. And it's going to be on my channel, but hopefully next week it'll be on Nikki's. Yay. We got to get Nikki start rolling on that. And Friday morning, I always have my show, which is not my circus, not my monkey, at 10 a.m. All right. Oh, I feel better. I took my makeup off. All right. Thank you guys for coming, and we'll see you in the chat. Yep. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Bye.